it just dawned on me how I'm no I'm not doing that <laughs> oh my god he's calling uh, <laughs> I mentioned in the chat that I'm gonna be buying Metal Health Sing Springer soon not Singer and now all I can think about is the game except the unknown character as they call it the main character it's just Jerry Springer greatest fucking mod ever make it happen metal hell springer <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you gotta go to be jerry jerry <laughs> oh fuck well good evening everybody it's thursday it's september 15th yeah call it something yeah, or something Something along those lines. Oh, super it's true. Fun. Thanks for the host, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, who got the boot tonight? Ah, the kid was running his mouth in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? Dude, holy fuck. She just buried somebody. That was great. You do some mods to where you can add songs. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god. That's. That's really smart. I like that concept. Yo, Will Billy's in the fucking house. What's up, my dude? Welcome in. Oh, no, I can just think about playing, trying to play fucking, like... Jesus, fuck Payback, you bastard. High War Zone, Demon Dragon. Jesus Christ. He's not ready for that. This is moving in. You say oh, my God. Lord, thank you for the host. <laughs> That's it. think about playing Metal Hell Singer with like Mashuga or like Dillinger Escape Plan. Like imagine trying to click your mouse in rhythm with that shit. <laughs> There's no way. There's no fucking way. <laughs> well, anyways, um, so quick couple reminders. I mean, everyone probably know this by now don't forget it's September if you feel like uh... <laughs> thank you little Billy for the host appreciate you bud yeah Visage was so good that's one of like one of my biggest regrets on just saying man I don't need to save VODs why the fuck uh, see, oh, Twy with the host Thank you so much. Welcome in. Welcome in, friend. Um, yeah, so this okay. month there's... Uh, if you, if you're looking to here. potentially move... Um, <laughs> like from a gifted sub or a prime sub up to a tier one. Or you're not subbed at all. You want to move to a tier one. Or upgrade to two or three if you're fucking crazy and all that shit. It's... Uh, Twitch basically... Uh, doesn't charge their cut um to a degree they take some of it but they take a bit off you guys get some savings i see the same amount either way so you're still supporting me and that's i think what matters most because nobody gives a fuck about jeff bezos but anywho um yes we got that going we have um you guys are already on a roll with the host i was gonna say it's the last month of host so anytime you have an available host make sure you're using it on your small streamer buddies um because it does help out it does help get the small people into uh the algorithm that is basically gonna go away so thank you noxy love you buddy the fuck part of that game is i've seen it played a million times the scares is still getting me also i was very deep reading during that game you i don't i don't believe it for a minute that's why i'm doing uh fantastic i had a lovely barbecue chicken dinner uh, just relaxed, and uh, with the windows open, nice cool night. What in the fuck, Polish? Wheeler with the host. Oh god, here it comes! Oh yeah! Oh, hot, hot, oh hot, yeah! Hot, 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 oh. Oh. Nice put in. <laughs> it lined up perfectly. CD Omega, low CD Omega, low. My god! Yo! Must be over a hundred Kurix. <laughs> the Get South right. Park fly. <laughs> He better. shit as the goal went in. That was fucking amazing. 
Oh my word. Hello there. Hi, Wheeler. <laughs> nut. Nut, 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 nut. Okay. Uh, cool, so I guess we're doing a hot sauce. That was funny as fuck. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way it's gonna line up, and then it did. It was, oh, okay. All right, back on track. Let's go to the spinner. Are you not? Stream elements. You're really fucking testing me lately. Every time it's now. Time to source it up. Not 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 and then and then and then not and then and then and then and then not. Uh, we're gonna spin it again because the thing fucking disappeared. Do I have to do it again? You're really gonna make me do this? There we go. No, we're not doing number one. Give me another spin. It didn't spin on twenty. I don't want these low fucking numbers. Give me a new one. Oh my word. If I don't get one that's higher than 12, I'm just gonna fucking... Okay, there we go. That's number 19. Uh... 18. We've had this one before. Oh shit! Yeah, we've had this one before. God damn it! I should have went with the one. Let us fuck. Um. So this is one of the ones from Fear and Loathing in Scoville. You, that's right. Fear and Loathing in Scoville. Now you get the reference. Uh, this is the Adrenochrome hot sauce variety. You put it on a potato chip. Yo, Scaredy Katu, what's up? Is it Scaredy Katu or Scaredy Katu? I feel like I've been pronouncing it wrong in my head this whole time. Either way, welcome in. Nice seeing you. I noticed you followed me earlier today. Thank you for that. First time was right? Katu. Wait, now I forget. Fuck. It's been a day. Tattoo. Katu. Okay. Boom. Um... If you made it just in time, I'm gonna have to do the, the hot sauce here. I don't, I was putting them on chips early on, and then I just, I think I ate the bag of chips one day, and I was like, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. And then I'm like, I always forget to bring a snack upstairs. So for those that haven't seen me do the Adrenochrome, this one is Smoked Reapers and, uh, and Primitali. Give this spicy elixir the power to transport your taste buds back to 1971 and then back again to next Tuesday. A little drop will do ya. And what's in this one is none other but some smoked chilies, specifically the Carolina Reaper and Primitali, a Fresno chili, peaches, ancho chili, sweet pepper, onion, beets, garlic, apple cider vinegar, turmeric, ginger, and cardamom. Lots of fucking stuff in here. And I've had it before. It, oh, it's good. It tastes fantastic. It's also hot as fuck. <laughs> yeah, again, this is, um, these are from a, uh, well, once Call of Duty streamer, now a reformed Escape from Tarkov streamer. Um, his brother lives up in upstate New York and makes these, and I decided I was gonna buy some. And I bought one of each, because why the fuck not? On a side note, you ever lit a candle? Shit out of, his ball bag. <laughs> of course he was. You ever lit a candle in your room? I got one today, and let me tell you, man, it's a game changer. Oh, dude, for sure. I haven't like I don't have one on now, but like I've had I usually have a candle in the room that I light like, um, not during streams, but like if I'm up late like doing something, it helps me kind of focus. You're a weird candle guy now. Well, you've always been a weird guy, so you're pretty much there. Anyways, let's stop delaying the uh, inevitable here. Here we go, it's going down. Oh! Woo! Oh my. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, this is 
I always forget that, like, so I think we've had this one, we've had this one before, maybe twice before. This one's a creeper. Uh, not my nostrils yet, we'll get there. I did get a haircut, Mr. Uh, excuse me, Lord Oodaloo. I did, I did. On the next episode of Jug Chugs. No. Looking fresh, fam. Hey, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Not too bad, eh? For reference, if you're ever looking, uh, Craft Barbershop in Marshfield, Massachusetts. Ask for Chris. By the way, he told me he'd drop in here at some point. Um, he's been talking about potentially becoming a streamer himself. Oh my god. Yep, there it is. Oh! Woo! In the 25th, you want to go to Thanos' martial arts tourney? He's doing a martial arts tourney? I just thought it was like weightlifting or something. Holy shit. Um, DM me so I remember to talk to you about it. Been overdue, I haven't been on PC for a bit. Oh no, I figured Man, I know that. I'm a bad motherfucker. Oh world. shit! 18 months now with that prime, those Bezos bucks. Yeah, I know I, your current situation, obviously, I totally get that. He's gonna puke beyond the mat reference. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do my cheers now. You're gonna see this and you're gonna go, gross, I've had the alternative. I've had what everyone had like fucking six, seven years ago. It's no, it's not, it's not. Not your father's root beer. It is Second Wind's mugged hard root beer. This is actually fucking awesome because it doesn't taste like alcohol. It tastes like root beer. Um, <clears throat> I I went up to I bought a four pack and I'm talking to the uh, the brewmaster Hans. I said Hans, you can't you can't fucking tell me there's alcohol in this. There's none. You're fucking lying to me. This is literally soda that you've repackaged. And he's like, almost. What it was is they also, so they make a seltzer occasionally with specific little flavor shots into it. Like the real like fruit purees and stuff like that. Like they've had some pretty cool ones. Like I'm not a big seltzer guy myself. However, this is their hard seltzer base with soda flavoring. That's it. And it's, Smells and tastes and looks just like root beer. Maybe a little bit lighter than root beer, like in color. Oh my god. A lot like that root beer, I too am hard. <laughs> Not your father's root beer was pretty good though. I mean, it was it was okay. It was really okay. Um, but this blows it out of the fucking water. I mean, Wheeler, I know you're not a drinker anymore, but like, it, it would blow your mind otherwise. This root beer is false advertisement. My dad was also hard all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Ooh. I looked over at your comments <clears throat> as I was getting the last gulp down. Oh. oh Jesus Christ. So is his backhand. Oh my god. The face when Jug dies on stream for like the 13th time. Ugh. Oh my god, and the worst part is <clears throat> I coughed up all the hot sauce. It's hot again. Uh, you know, it's a two for one. I hope you're happy, Polish. Uh, oh, wait, are you McDoodle dude right now? I can't remember which one you are. Oh, you switched over to Polish. Okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. All right, I'm gonna reset the clock there, or counter. Plus one for the prime sub. Oh. God damn it. Oh, that is not a good feeling. Yeah, I think it like coughed up enough where it got to like an area of almost feeling like heartburn. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, now it's hot root beer. Mm hmm Correct. Ugh, ugh. All right. Woo! So, who's excited? 
Uh, we've got, let's see, is it, is it fucking two weeks out? Yeah. Two weeks from Saturday's Jugtober. Fucking boom, balls to the wall. We're going. Now you have Enigma. <laughs> uh, now you have Angina. <laughs> I read it as Enigma. I'm like, what? <clears throat> so, um, I got a couple little pieces left to get ready. And of course, the thing I need to be ready is probably going to be ready by middle of next week. And uh, it's something I need for the first. <laughs> so, of course, everything else that could be like on the 28th, it's like here, done, ready to go. Somebody two subs, make this nub drink the sauce, you <laughs> dick. <laughs> Thanks, Lord of Thanks a lot. Mmm. By the way, uh, side note, just because I know it affects Polish and a, a couple others, I think four or five people. <clears throat> um, I finally f figured out where the menu is to update the I'm founders bad. badges. I'm a baddest motherfucker in the world. Oodaloo. Uh, Kiwi will appreciate that, but let's take it down a notch. Let's relax. <laughs> Thank you for the gifted sub. Um... <clears throat> What the hell is I gonna say? Oh, so yeah, I'm slowly gonna get where I need to get in. And like I'm I'm so fucking excited to like show everyone what I've been working on. Like the mods know and very, very, very few others know about what's coming. And even so, those couple of people and the mods don't know everything I have. I gave them little breadcrumbs. Um, you see, dude, I've been drinking. Oh, good, good. Let me see if I can... <laughs> me, I'm coming. OnlyFans announcement. No, that's, uh... That'll be... There'll be one million followers. I'll do an OnlyFans. <laughs> no, I... Honestly, though, the Jug Juggies idea might work. It's just pictures of my man boobs. Someone's got that. It's him, but he's fighting racism. $15.99 a month. Uh, I'm not Cody Rhodes. I'd sub for those jugs. Thank you. Thank you, Polish. I appreciate you. So speaking of Polish, you'll probably notice I found all the founders <clears throat> stuff. And there were, um, it switched over at some point to like, not only just the first people to subscribe, but the first prime subs and the first people that were gifted a sub. So there are people that I've seen in here once in like December 2020, maybe January 2021. Never again. I don't even know who the fuck they are. Like, if I knew who they were, I'd leave it. I'd leave it. Um, but yeah, like, I I was able to remove them, and it just goes to the next person in line, and lo and behold, the first trash barrel I clicked on to get rid of one, the name that came right up was Polish Hoax, and I was like, let's fucking go. <clears throat> God damn it. It's Relatable B-Cup, easy. Oh, oh, reliable B-Cup. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, God, that's fucking good. Okay. Yeah, we got lots of fun stuff coming. Um, I mentioned... Oh, <clears throat> I mentioned last night. And there's some average teams when I see them. So... <laughs> uh, I'm going to D1 ride or die, homie. This is true. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see that. Um... So, I mentioned before that we raised over $1,400 last year, which is fucking amazing. And I'm always about <coughs> pushing the limit. So, <coughs> excuse me. There's a lot of good stuff that I have set up for milestones from $1,400 and back. <coughs> fucking hot sauce. Ah. Oh. Um. Like a short skirt on Mass Ave. Oh my god. Um, so there's a lot of things we have before 1400 and a lot of things behind it. Um, I mentioned that <clears throat> I mentioned that the, the end all be all milestone incentive, whatever you want to call it, uh, at $2,500, should we reach the ceiling of? 
what I could ever anticipate. Is that the right word? Like, I don't expect to get there, but if we do, I gotta fucking pay out, right? Uh, at $2,500, final goal, I schedule for more than likely a Saturday morning, a 24-hour stream, first of its kind on this channel, never before seen. I don't know what I would do with it, but it's just like, I'm doing it, it's on there, so we'll see what happens. And in total, now last year, I think we had like, anywhere from like eight to 10 incentives this year. Um, excuse me. We have, let me do the count. Whoa. Oh my God. Uh, that number plus one, two, three, four, five, six. There are <clears throat> 60 different incentives. And I have planned it out that we're going to hit them early and often because every single incentive is only $50 away. First one's at $50. Next one is at $100, $150, $200, so on and so forth. And this is chock full of shit. <laughs> like, there's a bunch of stuff coming. What number it says to You stop it. That You're on the wrong website for that. Sauce keeps on giving. Twy, no promises, but I'm doing my best here. So, there's a couple of things that I, I staggered in there quite a bit. Um, and uh, I will give you... I'll give you the obvious one, I guess, because of... Well, it's, it's relatable to what is going on right now. Uh, at 50, 150, 250, and then like staggered there throughout, uh, <clears throat> increasing amounts of hot sauce wheel spins. Yeah. So essentially, early on, we hit that mark. I have to spin the wheel, take whatever sauce it is, move on. Doesn't even cost, it's not even like a sub. Like the sub things are still gonna happen, don't get me wrong. But as the donation number goes up, that could happen as well. Um, and as you get further, there's more spins. So for instance, at $850, it goes, no, I'm sorry, lower than that. Ugh. I can't read. Um, at $550, I have to spin the wheel twice. And I think at the maximum, I have to spin it five fucking times. My poor insides. Oh yeah, they hate me. <laughs> So there's a lot that's coming down the line. Um, that's all I'm giving you for tonight. I gotta last, I gotta make these hints last. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, um, there is actually going to be, uh, there's more hints in there. Um, something I'm bringing back last year that I really enjoyed as a, like a, some people call it a cosplay stream. I'm not that creative. It's gonna be me in a costume, not like anything outrageous but there's hints in there of what it could be. And there's also a hint for one of the multiple watch parties that we could have uh, watching horror movies right here on the channel. Um, already all cleared out. I can play them on here. Uh, no problems, no worries. Just won't be recorded, obviously, no VOD. Take a bomber up at the green cover in hot sauce. Why? That's awful. I would never do that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what we got. Um, I don't think I have any other real announcements or anything. No news. Incentives, dog. Oh yeah, there's, like I said, there's lots of them. Um, I think we're ready for Song of Horror. This is the third episode for us, but it's the second episode in the game. Uh, our first episode was the prologue and then the first like three quarters of episode one uh, Maybe a little less than that and then last night we did the rest of episode one as our episode two So now tonight we have episode two. It's called eagerly quiet and we get one of the same characters back But obviously all the dead ones are dead. Oh, no, I think we have two back maybe can sent it the incentive of me jumping off your roof through a flaming table like a chuggle ho You're not a fucking Bills fan. Relax. Uh, Alright, let's get to the goddamn game. So yeah, we're back to Song of Fire. 
We're going to continue on. All right, this is where we left off. So this is the uh, the main character from the ep uh, the prologue was found, or we found him, and now he's in the hospital. Where am I? Oh boy. Gah. I think Jug should definitely paint his face like a juggalo. Whoop whoop. No. Well, well. It appears as though the Prince of Slumber will be granting us an audience. How are you feeling, Your Highness? Uh, my head. I had a dream. I. I'm okay. <clears throat> Thanks for coming, Lydia. Okay, guys, Jug's playing games. We're gonna jump off. Let me know when this is just chatting Lydia. stream. This guy couldn't game I, his way I out of a wet paper bag. I wow. He's the one who found you. Ouch. I. Uh, I thought we were friends. Thank you very much, Mr. Vaskin. Without you, uh, I don't know. The pleasure is mine. You That's see, who we were. We I saved like him. To help you find Mr. Sebastian. I. I need to no negativity, much love. Him. <laughs> love you too, buddy. To my wife. Of course. I I'm Positive vibes only. Yeah, now, now go, fact, go apologize to your girlfriend for making fun of her on multiple Daniel, occasions in this stream. The said you need complete rest. Complete. <clears throat> Fine. Really. I found this. Apparently, Husher received a music box from an acquaintance of his. A certain Mr. Farber. It seems as though he That's, was I think it was pronounced Fairbur, because it has the umlauts. And from what Faber says, the music box may be related or maybe that's an e-umlaut. I don't remember. I'm not sure we should stick our nose Farber, it shall be. After everything that's occurred. <clears throat> we need to find Husha. I saw the box that Faber describes in this letter, but it wasn't really there. It was as if it were on the other side of... You know, I think we should pay a visit to this Faber. And ask him about the music box and Husha. He has a shop in the city, not far from here. Daniel, please. I'm fine, really. I think going to a shop and asking the owner a few questions falls within the range of what we can do, don't you? Oh boy. <laughs> Excuse me. Isaac Faber is the owner of a well established antique store that he runs with his daughter Erica. He's. Okay. <clears throat> So do we send last uh, Alexander Laskin back in? Because he's who we had. Or do we keep him as our closer again? Because we have Erica. Uh, she's 24. She manages the Faber and Sons Antique Shop along with her father, Isaac. If he's the art expert, she's the managing brains. She's always on top of every slightest detail of the business. Her adventure spirit takes her all over the world in the search of new items to adorn the shop's windows. Incredibly active. Erica has many hobbies and lets her imagination run wild at every chance she gets. She's at pretty good speed. She's not stealthy at all. She's not strong, but her serenity is way up there. Radio cassette players are a passive item. My favorite music, ready to listen to, the go, uh, to on the go, helps me focus and remember who I am. Erica. I think I'm at this part too. I can't remember much about this. Oh, nice. Who else do we have? Rene Artig Artigas, Artigas, uh, 37 years old. Rene was born to be a cop and held die one too. Whoa. Born in the Caribbean, he grew disillusioned with the police department in his hometown and set sail for Europe, where he thought his integrity and sense of duty would serve him better. But the grass was as, wasn't as green as it seemed. Tired of moving around, Rene decided to settle down and do what he could to help his new fellow citizens. He has really good speed, he's not stealthy, uh, he's very strong, serenity is pretty good. Uh, his service weapon is, oh, I'm sorry, his, his passive item is his service weapon, holstered and secured as per safety regulations. I hope I never have to use it. My dude, if you have a gun and I don't get to use it, I know they're ghosts, but come on. I last played December 23rd of 2021. Oh, damn. It's getting close to a year. And then there's Daniel. Somehow he's already home. He's 43. Daniel is a publicist and ex-entrepreneur whose failed business venture led him to become an alcoholic. Drinking cost him his health, his marriage to Sophie, Sophie's dead, <laughs> are bad, and even his home. Daniel, who has been sober for some time now, has finally managed to secure a stable job and slowly rebuild his life, except his boss is dead. He has all equal speed, stealth, strength, and serenity. Uh, his passive item is the badge of 
perseverance. I had to lose it all to find myself. I don't want that to happen again. Daniel. Okay. And we're back to Laskin. Okay, why don't we send the cop in? Make him... I, I, make this guy do all the fucking work. Uh, no additional item. And... We have the haikus again, I guess. I don't know why we really have to have them, but here we are. Nonetheless. <clears throat> so we gotta find Isaac in here. My guess is he's not gonna be here. Now this is where the strange music box came from that everyone was talking about. <clears throat> That's a lot of fucking words on there. October 1st, 1998. Shit, was that, what? I think I might have been... Maybe third grade? Oof. Yikes. List of items that we found in the shop that's quite well stocked. That's good. This restaurant looks like it's closed. The lights are on inside. Maybe they're the ones who reported the bizarre noises coming from the shop. Oh, didn't know about that. That's why the cop's here. Hmm. I'm not leaving here without completing an in-depth investigation of that call, so I might be in harm's way or in imminent danger. Do they could be anybody here. They're all dead. Uh, excuse me. Junior in high school. Damn. <laughs> Locked. Might have the enforcer with me. All right, well, shoot the lock. Maybe not. My kid is almost a junior in high school. Woof. I hope whatever is what I, I hope whatever is under that flower pot is not the key to the shop. It'd be maturely unadvisable to leave it there. Guess what it is? Key to the shop. An old key found under a flower pot. The key is antique in its own right. I doubt the lock is secure. Well. He brought the saxophone home yesterday. I have the worst headache ever. Ah. Is this the new Resident Evil game? No. It just, it's obviously heavily inspired by it. And Silent Hill. Among other things. Alright, let's use the thick key. Mm -hmm. Open, oh, let's see what's on the other side. Death. I mean, for sure. Uh. Fuck! I hit the wrong button. I wanted to look at the umbrellas. Really quiet. This is not good. Why is the clothes hanger moving like that? Everything seems to be in order and quiet, but I better check things out in here. Well, let me go back in here and look at the umbrellas. It's very important that I do. Because otherwise, if there's some item in there and I miss it, I'm going to be looking for it for an hour and a half. Fill dry umbrellas. They haven't been used today. Could someone still be inside the shop? Okay, good. I've looked. There's nothing else. Now I'm happy to move on. Oh, nice. A band geek. Yes. I, too, was a band geek. In, like, elementary school. Nice ship. I wish I could... Well, up until high school. I wish I had crossed the Atlantic in one of those instead of steerage class in a giant tin can. I mean, there's worse ways. <laughs> Items on display for sale. Nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, this is right here. A telescope, but fortunately, no more, more perverts that use them to spy on their neighbors than astronomy fans that use them to gaze at the stars. <clears throat> Yo! I know it says Goltar speaks, but that's definitely a uh, fucking. Is this, oh no, isn't that the same thing? Am I thinking, no, I'm thinking Zoltan. It's definitely Goltar speaks. That's from Big, isn't it? Tom Hanks movie? A game for fairs, music parks. I don't like the doll or the light, none of it. Twice a big band geek. What? Oh yeah, I was gonna say, you. I know you've mentioned you've uh, you, you've played a few instruments, I think. I care what they are, though. I know you've mentioned it on stream. List of product lots. I can't find it. I can't remember where I store that blasted music box. I thought I left it with the rest of the lot, didn't I? Yes, otherwise, where could it be? In this lot, there was also a wardrobe full of dry bloodstains. We took it out into the courtyard and dragged it, dragged it to one of our storage rooms in the basement, but which one did we place it in? I can't remember what color or shape it was. What's wrong with me? 
Could I possibly reveal the blood left behind somehow? I would have to buy luminol, right? That's what the police use. Perhaps that way I could find the lots, the lot of products containing the wardrobe and the box with it. Sebastian says I must return to its original owners, the Legrand Amersberg family. If I can manage that, will this madness come to an end? Hmm. I play a lot, or at least I have. Nice. Anything on the back? Ooh, it's this. Receipts for purchase of several lots of antiques by the Farber and Sons shop, along with the address of the original owners of those lots. One is marked Letters, Old Furnishings, and a Music Box, Legrand Amsberg Auction. Whoever those people are, they're fucked. They sold that fucking thing at a goddamn auction. Under the counter, several types of cheap bric-a-brac? Quite commonplace in these types of shops. I don't know what bric-a-brac is, but it sounds like bullshit. The cash register is ancient. I hope they take out the money every evening because opening it would be no challenge whatsoever to a thief. Hmm. A switch for electrical devices. I need a special key to turn it on. Okay, good to know. Hmm. Note all of the objects on these shelves are antiques. Some are customer information cards and order forms. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm stuck here. Before I go back up there, I'm going to check out the rest of this front room. I right, had a clothes hanger. Uh, we're just going to take it? Okay. You could actually bend this wire, just like the ones they used to break into cars. Okay. Good to know, I guess. Old books and scrolls established is just brimming with interesting items. Hey, it's a horse. Pick it up. Need four of those for a dock case. The display items from the store on Ooh, the table. Baby, Nothing under it, however. do you know what that's worth? Ooh, heaven is a place on earth, they say in heaven. Love comes first. We'll make heaven a place on earth, you. Heaven is a place on earth. Earth, you. Satan, how are we, friend? Why? There we go. Very nice. Bric-a-brac, miscellaneous objects and ornaments of little value. Ah, thank you. Very good reference today on the TTS. I always look forward to see what the hell you're going to put there. Gallery, door closed to enter, ask at the counter. All right, I will. Is this another staircase, right? Oh, it's a little back room. All right, hold up. We'll go over there in a second. Ooh. There's platters from the store on the table, nothing under it, however. Bro, there's a fucking drawer. All right, I guess you can't open it. Scrolls, old tomes, and stacks of books. The library's with a smaller inventory than this shop. A few characters in this game already. Yeah, yeah. We we finally got past... Karma, 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 <laughs> karma chameleon, you come and go. You come and go, loving would be easy if your colors were like my just dreams. just wanted to red, say come gold, a bunch of times. and green, red, gold, and green. God damn it. Speaking of coming. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> a dummy for dressmaking not much interest to me at this time. No, there should be never interest in that at all. A guitar, I don't see the price around here anywhere, but it isn't exactly the top of my shopping list either. This guy browsing right now? An empty old suitcase was the ones my parents lent me when I came to live in Europe. It feels like a lifetime ago. An ancient spyglass, Dr. Shabby's decorative piece, but I doubt it magnifies much. Boom. Oh, this can is not working. Selling it to a civilian would be terribly irresponsible. Also, this isn't America, so... Because if it was, it would be for sale. Is that Batman up there? Shitty Batman mask? Why can I not... There we go. A jack-in-the-box. Who buys this kind of stuff? Who sells it? Fair point, Scaredy. Looks like he would not benefit from coming at this moment. Next time on Pawn Stars. Some of these things are really expensive. I imagine it's because they're antiques. Durr! Yo, this guy's so smart. Can we get that rifle? A weapon should not be used as decoration. It just sends the wrong message. Bro. <laughs> Chumley pops out for this scare. Like, Cumley, am I right? Oh my god. Yikes, Cerrone. 
Alright, we're not going into any of those yet. I need to check everything else over here. An impressive suit of armor. Everything's in quite good shape except that mirror. Oh, yeah. Why is it that everyone smashes mirrors in this game? That seems to be a continuing topic. A box full of vases looks like they were left here never unpacked. Alright, let's go check what it appears to be an exit and maybe a bathroom. Oh, bathroom. Yep. Okay. So we need to listen in for... We always listen in in case someone's on the other side of that. Like a demon. I don't hear anybody. That emote is snacking. Wrong one to use. Rip. Don't ghosts have weird things against mirrors? I think that's part of it, yeah. But there's usually some reason behind it. Like, vampires don't have a reflection. Oh, that's a thing. Tales for customers covered in dust. Either there aren't many customers or the store has been closed for days. Another broken mirror. Oh, what's this? Spray bottle. Spray bottle that appears to have once held dangerous substances. Since it's empty, it's very light. Thanks. Mirror is broken, but there are no other signs of violence in sight. Yeah, just like the house. I think it's vampire. I think it's vampires. You ding dong. <laughs> I mean, there might be... I mean, I know that there's movies about ghosts and there's, like, some of them don't appreciate mirrors. I just can't think of it. Mirror reveals their human selves, their true selves, or some shit like that. I don't know, man, I'm baked. <laughs> hey, that's all good. The little click? It's like a nothingness audio track kicking back in. Because at first, you scared the shit of me when I first played this. It's locked. It was like some kind of warehouse entrance. Hmm. Well, it's common to cover mirrors after someone died in the olden days. I think they thought that the soul would get trapped in it. Interesting. Ooh, I can have bourbon. Ooh, what kind? Use the wire. Oh, yes. Good call. At least we can at least try, you know? All right, so let's do this. Yeah. I don't need that here, it says. Maybe I'll try the other key? Oh, you know... I already got it open. I don't need that key. What? All right. Well, that worked. One of the others worked. I don't know which one it was. Gonna have Chattanooga one 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 or the shop key. Sorry, back seating. No, it's all good. Chattanooga one one one. I don't think I've had that one. Not like. Okay, we'll try the key again. Damn it! Alright, we'll use the hanger. Won't work, I need to think of something else. So there's no way I can, like... So examine it, inspect it. I can't combine it, can I just... No. So this maybe I have to find a pair of pliers or something. Oh, what's this? Interior flats. Isaac Farber, Farber in A, Marley Wrangle in B, Gibbs Family in C. Okay. Let's listen here. Have you tried knocking? I, I think that's not a good idea. Nope. Okay, once again. I'll try using the hanger. Nope. Fire exit. Let's listen through the fire exit for any noise. Yeah, I got nothing. Let's go for it. All right, cool. Fire exit works. Is it a whole back courtyard back? Oh my god. I'm concerned that I haven't seen anyone yet. Yeah, it's obviously very quite concerning. And you know, it's very concerning how you didn't mention that you were the police when you walked in after finding a spare fucking key. But you know, we won't talk about that. Bicycles being crashed. Stolen long ago. Blah blah blah. Bins full of rubbish. You think the building had been completely abandoned? Ooh, that table in there might have something useful on it. If only I could get inside. Okay. Okay. We go take a look. Not one. Must have a latch. I can only open it from the inside. 
Ah, there's an opening at the top, so I probably have to bash through that window. Uh, and fall in. Guarding tools, little else, nothing that draws my attention upon first glance. Let's say you went through the other fucking thing. Uh, can I even go into this? It's a hard game, not a police procedural. <laughs> it's true. Alright, that door I can probably try. Interesting, there's something in the bin. What is it? It's something metallic and half buried in rubbish. Should I take it? Ooh, I don't like this. Fuck it. It's... it's if this guy dies, I won't feel bad. Silver Coltar token. Silver colored metal token for Coulter machines. I don't know what a Coulter machine is. Oh, Goltar. Uh, they, wait, it's supposed to be Goltar, I think, or Zoltan, one of the other. Okay, so I can use it at that machine. That's interesting. All right. It's surprising how much this thing, this little thing weighs. Hmm. Girls are actually dirty. Everything seems like it was abandoned here. Yeah, so let's destroy personal property. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's start on number one, because that's where Isaac is supposed to be. Something tells me he won't be here, or this will be locked. All right, I don't hear anything. So that seems good. This door is blocked. Not locked, blocked. Well, okay, how about two? Coin at the glory hole, my god. That's a bad could possibly happen at the glory hole in this game. <laughs> Also locked. Is every fucking door locked around here? My word. Listen in here. Don't want a ghost job, Chuck. No. Mm -hmm. This door is also blocked. My god. Can I get into door number four? I think I checked this once already. I'm just going to double check it. Okay. We're good. Mm -mm. Alright. Well, this must be an area for later. And I just happened to stumble upon it early. Let's check in here. Get out of the rain. Something's on the ground. You fucking clown. So what a dumbass. I don't know what the fuck it was, and you fucking dumped it. Maybe a spiritual experience, perhaps? <laughs> don't want to get the ectoplasm everywhere. Way to go, handyman. <laughs> fucking dillweed. Alright, nothing to search around here, just these doors. Alright, what's this? This door is jammed and the locks are all rushed up. It's sat here and used for, for a few months, no doubt. Yikes. Okay, so that's a dead end here. How about these doors? Alright, this is good. Nope. Someone locked this door. Yeah, no, I don't have the option to use anything. How about this one? Nope. Okay. Hey! Finally! Oh, great. These old buildings it would be so easy for someone to open the door and fall down the shaft. I'll call the elevator in a bit, but what fucking building is this? Oh, this music is no bueno. What's this? <clears throat> night shift report. A form filled out by the nighttime guard, Walter. Oh, wait, no. We're in Germany, right? So it's Walter. Fall down the shaft of the ghost. Oh, my God. End of shift report. August oh, 11th of August, 1998. Night shift. Time spent 7 a.m. Agent 
Walter Sullivan, code 09534. Instance, 10.38 p.m. While on rounds, I detect a small leak in one of the water pipes. I place a bucket under it and send a note to the building's insurers. 1.13 a.m. I hear someone pounding on the main door coming from outside. I approach and ask who is there with no response. The pounding stops. When I open up, I see nobody in the street. 4.40 a.m. I think I hear a melody playing behind me. I go out into the inner courtyard and find Mr. Isaac Fairbair barefoot and wearing nothing but a pair of blue pajamas. His eyes are closed and in his hands he is holding a music box which plays as he walks slowly. He ignores me when I call to him and enters the door leading to his shop. Fuck. Nothing on the other side. What's here? Tim's voice plus ominous sounds equals suicide. Jesus Christ, Oodaloo. No, I was just locked in. There's nobody in there. Okay. Threat of plants, nothing too unusual. Well, if it is, if they've not supposed to have been closed for days. Rotate camera around. Move camera? So I can look to see who is exactly where in all of these. Interesting. It tells me who's where. So that's good to know. Little directory. Oh my god, there's a lot of them here, aren't there? A set of keys left in plain view of everyone, if everyone displays a huge lack of professionalism, though I won't deny it comes quite in handy to me. I mean, can we just grab it? Like, punch that thing out or something? Oh, I bet you I spray something on it. But we'll try the hanger. I'm not going to hook the keys, it's just the hanger by itself. Okay. Your hair could benefit from a fasting diet. I think his ghost issues are a sign of bloating. You should eat only goulash. <laughs> God damn it. His wrists are too thick. Here's a bunch of others, I guess. Okay. Can I get this door open? The door is closed with an anti theft mechanism that is nice and thick. The neighborhood is quiet, but I'd better stay safe. I okay. This is ultimately a dead end. Interesting information within, but ultimately a dead end. Let's try the elevator. I don't think that will work. Oh, great. So the elevator doesn't work, so that was not great. Oh, the security camera's up and running, though, I see. All right. Same by itself, what are you draw doing playing a game or giving a portion to Jesus? You're hitting all the buttons today, man. Hit the wrong button? Fuck. All right, let's go back into the shop and check out the rest of it, I guess. I am a button. Oh. Okay. Continue forward. Around the corner, we'll head back into the store because those doors are also locked. Okay. <laughs> Polish. That. Heard something in there? Open it up. I have some kinks that I want to like Jesus. share with you so we can like do these things. I'm okay, and they're like, I have a foot back. My god, that scared the <laughs> Do I like this? I will never be able to hear a thing. Alright, well, you can't hear anything through the reinforced door. But there seems to be a little TV somewhere over here where I can see what's in there. So if I see a ghost, I won't bother opening the fucking door. I think that's a smart maneuver on my part. No defeat. No, he doesn't have a foot fetish. <laughs> I mean, he does, jokingly. Oh! Jesus fucking Christ! This thing's gonna be turning around looking back at me. Oh! 
Ooh. All right, we need going in there. That was, but it fled the scene. There's a foot to neck beard ratio. All right, well, we're definitely not fucking going in there. I don't know if I should use the uh, the coal tar machine. I don't feel safe about it right now <laughs> with everything else going on. Spooky, spooky. Check by the display of this document should be important, although if it were really valuable, they'd keep it under lock and key. It's kind of hard to... Another chess board. We had that in the first uh, first episode, too. Two Japanese swords. Hope they watch out to prevent any customers from climbing up to grab one. This dude's quite the fucking worry wart. Jesus. There are figures and papers amidst all of all these old books. Hold up, there's something back there, you... Dumbass. Oh, God, that was a gross-ass burp. Well, maybe not. It's this thing up here, I bet. Yeah. Faces of considerable size. Better be careful around such brittle pieces. Jesus Christ. Jug has the same facial expression when he comes as when he's scared. <laughs> Experience. Jesus. Don't you dare spread lies. Come on. Why can't I? Hello? Why can I not look whatever this was? What is, how, why is it that the table is covered with its shop sales materials? There's space in the, underneath it though. Oh, okay. It's a hiding spot, which is actually right here. Got it. I was screwed up with the depth perception. An old suit of armor made entire, entirely of wood. Pretty impressive. Interesting. Looks like there's something in its mouth. Hmm. I could try to pry the thing out of its mouth, should I? Yeah, who cares if we break something? A bronze coulter token. So I have a bronze and a silver now, right? Surprise how much this little thing weighs. Put your finger in its mouth? Yeah. I love that he's still with me in chat. Yeah, it's, it's fucking great. <laughs> A gramophone like the one in my childhood home. Nothing that would be of use to me now, though. Start playing music. We'll organize books on important pers pers personages. I suppose that there's some method to the madness in the way this mess of objects is strewn about. It's an antique shop, dude. A drawer closed with a high security steel lock. I hope they don't store any money in there. It would not be safe. Can I use one of the coins? It's not helpful. Okay, let's try the hanger. It's not helpful. Well, all right. I gave it my best. All right, that's all I have here. What the fuck was that? I just made me turn around? I guess I never checked the door. That's interesting. Nothing down here on the table, okay. What's right here? Okay, nothing. Nope. The door must have been some kind of lock on the inside. All right, heading through. Oh yeah, there's the leak. Oh yeah. Got you. I've got you. What the? What stop. the step? Toluca Lake, a peculiar fridge refrigerator ornament. Hmm? These little decorations always end up in a storage room. Right. Oh, a magnet. Magnet will come in handy. The rest won't. Interesting. Okay. All right. Now, I wonder if I do that by combining. Dude. Yeah! Now I can get that key. Let's fucking go. What else is down this way while I'm here? Just this one door. Let's listen in. Nada. 
Mm -mm. Luckily, I had the enforcer with me. Well, unfortunately, I have no key, and there's no way this magnet's gonna unlock it. Yeah, I must. There actually must be a legitimate key or some other tool I can use. All right, so we're gonna go back upstairs, out back, over by that drain above us. The enforcer's the gun, isn't it? Um. Well, the thing is, you can't select it. It's a passive item. Which is... I know it's stupid. Like, look, I can't really... Well... Personal item passive. I'd, I'd love to live in a world where police officers didn't need firearms. Like, I can't even press Q and, like, get, like, a response. It won't work. I mean, I'll go try it again. But I tried it on another one earlier. Because he's acting as if the enforcer isn't on him, unless that's like a name for a shotgun or something. I was just down here. And there was not this much water. No. No. Turn around. We're not fucking playing that game. Absolutely not. I already took one chance with the character going into water where I couldn't see what was going underneath and that character was dead within seconds. I ain't doing it with this guy. I'm trying to be better. You should go back. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right. So can I use the coins on him? I mean, I would assume so, but... Eh, fuck it. There's more than one. Let's use the bronze one. Nice shot. Message dropped down. Let's see what sort of nonsense it says. Message went from Coltar. Prediction from the Coltar machine. There's something you forgot. Remember it and you will be blessed. Okay. Let's use the other one. Use the silver one. I just heard a microwave timer go off and a ghoul laugh. I don't know if I should be scared or hungry. Both. Message two from Coulter. Picture from the Coulter machine. Let's inspect it. Play and win. Play and lose. Having doubts? Go right through. That's not good at all. That's not going to be helpful. So there must be a gold one. My assumption there. I right, remember we're not going to go into that door. We will check this door though because I haven't been over here yet. Let's listen in. Porquino dos. I mean, true. Alright, we got something here. Letter 1 by Sebastian P. Husher. A letter from Sebastian P. Husher to Isaac Farber, dated 13th August, 1998. Dear Isaac, I'm sorry about your trouble getting to sleep. If it's any consolation, I have been suffering the same plight recently myself, perhaps through the imminent proofreading of my novel. If quality can be measured by the time invested, it should be one of my finest works. However, I suspect that this is not always the case. Despite everything, I find a bit of time to look into your mysterious music box. Based on the carving of the wood, I am certain that it is European from the late 19th or early 20th century. Also, it's that it is of extraordinary quality, perhaps a real luxury item back in its era. I will continue my research. Get well soon. Sebastian P. Husher. Yeah, Quiet Lake Street 26, 21 WM 8197, something? Can you use your billy club? No. File a box with private business documents, not very well organized. But I admit my owner quite a mess too, so better not better not to point fingers. Alright, anything over here? That thing just like move like is like rocking. Alright, so this seems just kind of a wasted spot. Just some lore. Right, we're not going into the gallery. Suck my toe.
I'm going to go through the exit. Okay, head outside. And then we're going to head back over towards those apartments, for lack of a better term. There's also somebody over here before, as we recall. It was watching us pick up the, uh, the magnet. Doesn't look like they're here now. Alright, there's this door. Oh boy. What the? Fuck, how'd it get out? I couldn't even listen. Fuck, get out! It can't see you, but it sure can hear you. Running is futile. You need to be, keep calm and stay quiet. In order to do so, you need to control your breathing by gently moving the mouse up and down. Try to keep the white circle as close to the frame as possible. If it feels your presence, it will come closer and closer with each mistake you make. Don't let it reach you. Oh, I don't like the idea of this. Here we go. Is. That was stressful is that? as fuck. A quiet place you've unlocked. What? what else could it be? I must be imagining things. I must be imagining things. Yeah, dude, that never happens. No way. All right, let's get this key. Hell yeah. This is super legal. A set of iron keys found in the doorman's office. He is nowhere to be seen. Okay, so these are the doorman's keys. The doorman's master key set. It probably opens several doors. I mean, there's two fucking keys on it, too. I can't use it to open this, right? No. Okay. That door is just closed. It's the end point. I get it. Okay, let's go ahead and use the doorman's keys on the doorman's office. Let's listen first. I remember having to do that. Is one key for one of those mailboxes? Uh, potentially. Controller for this was trash. Oh, that's too bad. What's this? My word! Totally inappropriate for a workspace. Nothing I nothing I was expecting though. Yeah, there's some uh interesting stuff there. Little note. Let's read it. Here's the key to the switch you'll find on the shop counter in case anyone needs access to the exhibit gallery. There are security cameras. Yeah, I don't know if I really want to go in there, but thanks for the good read, I guess. Wait, where's the key? It's just not there. Mm -hmm. All right, form filled out by the daytime guard, Simon. End of shift report, 22nd August 1998. Daytime, spent at 7 p.m. Asian Simon Re Reitfeld, code 55173. Incidents, 8.51 a.m. The plumber from the insurance arrives and repairs the leak in the pipe. I signed the insurance claim form. 10.22 a.m. It packages over to block 2, flat 3B. Nobody is home. It is stored at the doorman's desk temporarily. 12.06 p.m. Mr. Isaac Farber is asked about the incident which took place during the night shift. He seems to be confused, not to know what I'm talking about, and appearing upset. He asked me many questions. I offer to call a doctor, but he assures me he is fine. 
3.17 p.m. A door-to-door -door salesman is found trying to sneak into the inner courtyard. I usher him out of the building. How do we go down here? Just click. Oh, it's probably on the other side. What? Why can't I rotate down? This is a down arrow to do nothing. That's obnoxious. All right, let's go check out the, uh, this way. Hmm. The only monitor now turned on is displaying nothing. Better go, better do a go around on the building. No, we don't. That is not necessary. I still don't know why I can't pick anything up off of that. <laughs> Fucking radio. All right, let's listen in. All right. That sounds pretty good. Ugh, this is quite narrow. No, it's prepared with errands and a complaint by Erica Farber to the building's doorman. Apparently this vault is a bit of a shitty character. Oh, that's not good. Right. The door is now unlocked. What door does this go to? Oh, cool! Now I can get to the doorman's office. We can get to the doorman's office via the uh, the store now. So that's cool. What about this door? Okay, that sounds good. Hmm? Crime. I saw five minutes of it once. And I almost shot a hole in the telly. The way it portrays police work is most unfortunate. What's this? Mm -hmm. Crank handle, an iron crank handle with a socket. Hmm. It seems to operate some kind of electric device, maybe even a lock. Oh, I think we found a lock that needed that before. In like that upstairs area, maybe, of the shop? Perhaps? Okay, let's check this one out. Okay. To the next room. That's the bathroom. There's a fucking bra in the sink. I grab something else. Hydrogen peroxide. First aid antiseptic. Hmm. Hydrogen peroxide. The forensics team used it to activate luminol and criminals to erase traces of organic matter. Ah. Okay. Uh. Ah! Abroad, I've seen situations like this before and they're usually due to burglaries or invasions of privacy. <laughs> Thanks, Polish. <laughs> You're gonna crank your handle. Eh. Yeah, creepy. Uh, we made it with the last... We had one character left, and I hardly made it out of episode one. So here we are in episode two. I'm being a bit smarter this time. Not very typical. The building's overseer to have the facilities in such a state, even if it was just for his personal use. But that mirror's not smashed. So that's interesting. Just a thought. When we head back to the store... Wrong way. Because I think... I think that crank goes to that. I also have more keys. Can I come... I don't even do two items, you ding-dong. Combine with this. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. Fine. Let's head back into this office. Let me look for Monica for Joven. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, all right. Let's get out of the office. And I'll just double check. I don't think I can open any of these. Yeah, there's no option to use the camera. Uh, the camera. No option to use a key. Just like here. Just to look. Same here. Usually they'll say Q. Maybe a gear first, something like that. It'd be nice if I found a map. Do I have... Oh, I do have a map already. It just kind of builds it. 
I also don't have to go all the way over that way. Oh, I could probably open up those houses, though. And maybe these keys, maybe? Yeah, let me go let me go check out the store first. I'll wrap back around to the courtyard. I think that's the play. Okay. I'm still not going to go back down there and check out that water. I'm not happy about it. Alright, so I think it's over here. At least I thought it was. Is it further down? Yep, right here. That's not helpful. What? That looks like I need to... Oh, maybe I need to find another piece of the crank to make that work. I don't know. Not like... Alright, fuck. Where else can I go in here that has a puzzle? Oh! Um, I think that key may work. Down here. On this device behind the thing. This guy right here. Yeah, okay, crank goes there. Switches on, but not touch it without just cause. Is it still going to be in there? Can I finally go in? Also, the painting on the far part of the wall is very creepy. I'm not exiting. I'm going to let this whole video play. Is it like it zoomed around? I'm bad. I'm a bad Candy. Seven months of J-U-G-G-S-S-S-S-S-S. J-U-G-G-S-S-S-S-S-S-S. Well... Pack of the hot sauce. Lovely. Alright. My assumption we're good there. Dad, are you alright? Yeah, I'm. No, I'm good. Feel a lot better. TTS what? Alright, so we're gonna go spin this baby again for another hot sauce. Let's see what happens. Anything greater than a fucking 12, please. I hit the goddamn command. Let's go hit spinner. Hey, it worked this time. Nope. It's gotta be bigger than that. Must be greater than 12. Dark orange or red. Nope. I'm about to just grab a bottle out of there. 19. Okay, I think we had a different one before. Yeah, we did 18. This one's 19. We've also had this one before. Oh, great. This is the other of the two that are marked as very hot. The rest are either hot or medium to hot. God damn it. This one is a garlic smoked reaper. So if we didn't have enough Carolina reaper tonight, we're gonna have more. Uh, so this one, <clears throat> slow cooked garlic confit and smoked Carolina Reapers will sneak up and scythe right through your taste buds. Careful. And in here is garlic, smoked Reaper mash, white wine vinegar, water, avocado oil, fresh lime juice and zest, mustard seeds and spices. So here we are. Let's jump back over here, though. I don't want to stay on this goddamn screen with my oh, face. 
I wanted to just say hi, but okay. Oh, a likely story, Candy. This is so you. I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah, this one is also hot. Uh, bottoms up. Here it is right here. Ooh. Don't you call me out. I'm only calling you out as a friend. <laughs> wow. That... That is... He's smarter than that. That is a... Uh, a tasty fucking hot sauce. That lime... Oh, in the front... Is very nice. Oh, yeah, that's that. That's a creeper too. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna go reset the counter. Good, and uh, I want to get back into this game. I think. I think I'm surviving this one. Maybe this one wasn't as hot as the last one. If the lime is prominent, I'd probably like it. I thought it might be heavy on the smokiness. No, there's definitely smoky on the back end, but that lime is, it's pretty heavy. It's not very heavy, but it's its really up there in the front. Okay, let's continue. So I guess that means we can now go Do I have to go hide? I think I'm being watched. There's something here. Go under the table. Go under the table. Oh. All right, it was just a random event then. I didn't see anything, but you definitely hear it. It's a holiday for me, Jugs. I'm going out for sushi. I am so fucking jealous. Which uh, which holiday is it? Indigestion, let's go. Hell yeah. The acid reflux is going to be fun tonight. Jugs drinking 19 would be so chill. Spice tolerance so high. So, alright, I will have to say though, Candy, everything over 12. So 1 through 12, incrementally really bad, 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 worse. Uh, 13 through 20 are just other hot sauces I had, and I, I randomly numbered them. It happened to be so the 18 and 19 are the hottest ones. I didn't realize that. All right, let's see if I die. Nope, okay. Display case full of masks and other antiques. Other than that, it's of no interest to me now. Ancient jewels and scrolls, all well protected inside the display case. This picture is fucking creepy. The door in the glass display has a combination lock. I wonder if there's anything useful inside. All right, so we have to find a combination. It is six numbers, so it's not 0451. Sorry, everybody. It's Malaysia Day. It's the day we became a constitution after independence. Oh, it's awesome. Excuse me. Well, happy, uh, happy Malaysia Day. I'm so jealous of that sushi. Behind the reinforced glass, I see gold and silver coins. I assume they are ancient. They're probably not. There's a firearm there. I hope it's just decorative or that this glass is truly secure. This guy is very over the top on his safety. Hey, I've seen that picture. That one was... That one was in the house. Huh. Interesting. The display case is reinforced. I imagine its contents are quite pricey. Alright, there's nothing else in there. There's no other doors. Just that combination, the key combination, but I don't think I found anything that. Wrong one. It's found me anything useful. List of product lots. Letter one from Sebastian. Night shift report, day shift report. If anything, list of product lots. 
you can't yeah and there's nothing in the back that's that many numbers okay i probably have to find something else let's head out okay so the puzzle in the corner of the store is just the little genie guy let's go try the keys in the hallway and then those two doors out there i think it's our best bet also there's a key they can use the key there but i don't want to go down there it was uh, pretty fucked up that the water just rose up like that i'll send photos oh please do yeah i i don't get to eat sushi very often Oh, but when I get to, oh, I'm so happy. I get so, so happy. I'm also going the wrong way. Wait, no, I'm... Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Why don't you people tell me this? I thought you guys were my friends. You're supposed to help me through this terrible, terrible occasion. So the good thing is, because I've searched through all this shit already, I don't have to keep going back and be like, do I look at this? Do I look at that? Do I look at this? Do I look at that? I just know I did. Alright. Now we can try the key on these doors. Good. On with the investigation. Let's listen in. Alright. I don't hear anything. Let's head on in. Fucking mannequin. Following Kevin's full of documentation, carrying out an investigation on this site would be utter nightmare. Nice. Before I touch that, what else is over here? Nothing. Okay. There's something quite large under this blanket. I have a bad feeling about this, but maybe I should take a look. Should I remove the blanket and see what's underneath? Look, take a look. Satan. What does everyone else think? Should I take a look? Should I pull the blanket down? Should I do a look to get ready? You rest well after stream. Thank you, Candy. I will. I'll be dreaming of sushi all night. <laughs> God, I don't know if I want to pull the blanket. I, let me... Let me think about it for now. I'll come back. I'll come back. I don't feel good about that. It's awfully big. Yeah. Let me check the other room before I die. Good. Let's listen in. Shugs, why are you scared? Because this this game is actually uh, if the if the character dies, it's permadeath for the character. While this guy's kind of a dunce, I don't want him to die. Okay. Letter to by Sebastian P. Husher. Letter from Sebastian P. Husher to Isaac Farber, dated 18th August, 1998. There's probably nothing. That's a big probably. Isaac, I'm afraid it's too late. I've heard the melody. Catherine and the children have to just once. Nothing will happen to them, will it? Dear God, that melody. Something is different inside my head. It's made me see things I don't understand. Things I would rather not continue seeing. I'm so sorry, Isaac, but I feel forced to send the music box back to you. I will keep researching if I don't want to have it anywhere near me. I must think of my family. Please take care of yourself. Forgive my lack of courage. Sebastian P. Husher. Well, I think that's too late because his house was fucking empty. Nothing else there. Okay, what's down here? Paintings. They might be very valuable, but I don't like them at all. Okay. Wait for this guy to say something really fucking stupid so I can just be like, let's go move that thing. The safe is open up there but I can't look in it that's stupid okay all right leaving that question mark there let's at least go search the other two places first if I die in one of the other places then I'll use the character for that spot Let's head this way. We'll go right around. Oh, that was thunder, I think. All right, this one I don't think I can even use. Yeah, no, it's just straight up locked. This, I can use the key.
All right. Good. Notices for the local residents. Some for months ago. Doesn't anyone take care of this building? Uh, everyone's dead. Everyone has heard the melody in the antique shop. They're all fucking dead. A, B, C. Are these all elevators? Can't even do anything to that one. No way. Need to find the key. Wait, do I have a key on me? Nope. Different key. All right. Nope. Did the brown note kill them? Probably. Need to find the key. I'm assuming this is not the right key. Mm -mm. Right. Okay. And the D. Nope. Again, probably not the same key. Mm -mm. Fine. All right. Let's just take the stairs. No big deal. Oh, my lips are all tingly. The courtyard is quiet. Yeah, for now. I think I heard something. Yeah, none of the, I don't think this key's going to work on any of these. Nope. No way. Just this way I can check and make sure. Mm-mm. 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 Nope. And, yeah, okay. Cool, next floor. Nothing of the ordinary out there. I'm going to get to the top, and it's going to be something there, obviously, at this rate. I like how the C before was kind of tilted. Now the A is almost upside down. It's going to be a puzzle, I guess. So there's going to be some master set of keys somewhere for this building. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. -mm. Oops, wrong button. Mm -mm. And last apartment. Mm -mm. No way. Okay. Fine. Oh, good. We're heading to the top. So last time I look out the window, of course, I'm going to and probably see something scary. So quite the place seems abandoned. I guess it's probably because of the rain. No, this place is pretty fucking abandoned, my guy. I feel like we'd hear something by now. And the fourth floor. Nope. Did that again. Whoops. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Yeah, I mean, this none of this is surprising to me, but I just want to make sure, because if, if it's the one time the key would work and I never did it, no way. I'd be very upset. Nope. Okay, cool. All right, so that's block two. So I can go over to block four and handle that scenario. And hopefully I can jump out the window into that little shed on the corner. At least that's my plan. I'm sticking with it. Oh, I hate the camera cuts. It's fucking freaky. Like, if this was over-the-shoulder cam, even first person... Like, it's still scary, don't get me wrong. 
but it's just like there's something else with like these quick camera cuts kind of stationary cameras just like ugh. you see that sees all fucked up yeah this has the same feel as the first episode of the house where it felt like no one was around for a very long time like matter of weeks not hours or days Okay, so I make sure the A wasn't special for some reason there. Okay. We got through block two. Let's go to block four. I'm getting all wet. All right. What? Motherfucker. Alright, what else do I have then? Uh, that thing which I can't open up. Another gold coin. Fine, we'll go to the fucking cellars. How do I get down to the cellars again? Oh yeah, right. I have to go down the residential access. Hopefully that fuckhead won't be there again. I don't want to do those breathing exercises. Those were not fun. And then we'll see if the uh, the water's gone down. Gonna head out, gotta get up early with the kiddos. Hope you keep all your peeps alive. Night night out. Thank you so much. Ah! Fuck. Ah! This guy's not very good with the door. Anyway, Scaredy, thank you for being here this evening. I hope you have a, a lovely evening and a great day tomorrow. And of course, that's the door I need to go through to get down to the cellar. Fuck. Shit, shit, shit. Good job. Yeah. Kind of panicky, but I got through it. I gotta check all these doors again. God damn it. I thought that would have been the right way to go. And it must be, because they blocked me off from going there. I'll try the other way. That door I can't get through. Need a special key for the other fucking block, of course. Also have my inventory. Still have this another door I can unlock, so it's probably the one in the basement. What else can I really do? I haven't found the combination for that lock yet. I haven't found another coin. Have found a way to unlock that. None of those keys are good. I can't get down there because I'm being blocked out. 
I mean, the best I could think of, try this other door. If that doesn't work, then I'll go back into that room and uh, I'll move the fucking blanket. We'll see what happens. Because I feel like I've looked everywhere. I'll double check the map, every little piece of it. Just to make sure. Can we please? Wait a minute. What's that? Expired list of shepherds. Oh, right. I did already see that. We're gonna listen to this door first before I do. I'm not just gonna pop it open. If it was on the other side of the other door, it's gonna be here too. Like, do I try it? I can't listen to the uh, through the door. Because if it was so, that hallway. Across the way, that's the door that popped open on me. Thought the silence fled that room. Well, so I was listening on the other so on the other door on the right of the hallway, and I could still hear it, but on the left side I can't listen. So maybe it left? Maybe? It left. Okay. It left. See if the water's still fucking crazy down here. Yeah, no. I think I made the right choice in backing out. Okay. Please work. <laughs> Got, Got him. him! Thanks, RK. What's up, bud? Alright, silence in there. Let's go in. Progression. That didn't sound too good. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Just playing some Song of Horror, trying not to fucking die. Can I use my key on it? This music sucks. Mm -mm. Different key. Fuck. Okay, let's try this door. Yeah, no, don't go in there. Let's try this door. Yeah, we're good. That little... It sounds like a footstep, but it's not. It's like the track restarting. Tools left around in any which way. Some are dangerous, too. They should be stored more properly. This guy fucking judges big time. Somebody drew something away in the waste paper basket. What do we have here? Note found in a waste paper basket. This is an empty report. Something on the back? Yep. Damn, Falter. What the hell have you done? I found traces of mud on the stairs to block four, which led down to the window on the first floor. I knew it was you. Plus, you ruined the handle on the window. Have you gone mad? I've informed the building handyman so that he can fix it as soon as possible. I don't know what the hell is up with that girl, and I don't really give a damn. Stop screwing around and stop behaving yourself. It may turn out she's not hysterical as you claim, but that you are one big weirdo. This is the last time I've pu I'm putting my arse on the line for you. Yikes. What's that? Utility meters, nothing gonna be interesting right now. Oh, okay. A wrench. Hmm. Standard tool should be versatile no matter what you're repairing. So RK, how you doing? What you got what do you guys mean playing tonight? I'm assuming you're streaming tonight. I didn't check. And what's this? Nothing. Oh, probably the heating system. I can't do shit with it though. Alright. So I can use the wrench. To probably get that lock open upstairs. Let's listen in here.
Yeah, it's still there. All right, fuck that. Not dealing with that shit. Get me out of these cellars right now. All right, so as we'll head back up here, there's this door in my right, soon to be left when the camera cuts. Yep, so the one on the left. Go back into the store. And over here, we have the little tiny uh, lock. Maybe I can use the wrench on it. Nice. There was a key inside, it could be useful. Copper key, a large old key, rusty and worn down. Does it say on that? Farber. Okay. Hmm. Old but robust like everything used to be. And I could take my wrench back. Huh. Hmm. Well, there's nothing else in here. Lock is open, the drawer is empty, nothing to do here. Alright, cool. That's good, that's good. So what else can I do here? So that one key. What could it go to? Those are storage rooms? Maybe that's his storage room. Let's go back downstairs. And we'll check that door that I didn't have the right key for. Because I doubt the Farber key is going to work across the board. Also... I can't get into Farber's block where he actually lives. It said he's in block one, and that door is fucking slammed shut. Hello, hello, thank you. Ah! Ooh. Oh no, it's coming everywhere. Fuck, dude. I went the wrong way. There's no way to hide in this place. Come on, go. There's a table upstairs. Oh, no. Renee, no. Oh, I should have gone the way I knew. There was a table up on the other side of that door I could have hidden on or under. Oh, that's the worst. All right, now who do we send in? Let's, you know what? I think we should send in the uh, Isaac's daughter. I don't want to send Daniel in yet. All right, Erica. Renee was doing so well. He really was. Fuck. I knew where that table was. I should have immediately pressed the map and looked and been like, yep. And have reassured myself. And I would have ran up the stairs. But no, I fucking turned around. <clears throat> Shit. Oh my god. My own fucking... Gym shorts just scared me. There's a logo on them, and I looked down, and I thought it was a cat face looking at me. I don't have—I don't own a cat. Oh God! Jesus H fucking Christ! All right, I better go get all of his shit. It's not like Dad to leave the lights on after closing up. All right, so we gotta go find. Renee would have left his little pouch behind. Where is it? Where's the fucking pouch? There it is. Whew, I got scared there for a second. Whose bag is this? Oh, look, all this stuff. 
popper key, the dormant's key. Alright, so yeah, let's go. Hold on. I wanted to go check to see if this door... And I, I kind of just got flustered with the condition we were in there. Let's try using the copper key. Yep. Doesn't fit. It's not at the right key. Interesting. Let's check the... Uh... Oh, is this still gross over here sounding? Yep. Not going in there. All set. Alright, so that key needs to go somewhere else. I wonder if what happens to do with the copper coin that I used and got a wish for. I'm gonna check once I get inside the store here. Message one. This is something you. There's something you forgot. Remember. Be blessed. Remember, and you will be blessed. Well, the copper key still works, so where else can I possibly use the copper key? I think just building four. Because all these other ones in block two, they wouldn't all work like that, I don't think. Oh, that door is unlocked now. It used to, it used to be locked, I thought. Two, block three. I mean, it's all block two, but... <sighs> Yeah, it's only the key I can figure out here. I think I've gone through every other door I can. Oh, no. There's one at the end of the hallway there. We'll go there now. If that doesn't work, we'll check out the... Uh, what, what do you call it? Um, fuck. We'll check out block four. See if I can get through the door with that key. Because this copper key just seems very out of place. Like, it even mentions that. Almost like it's an antique anyways. Oops. Alright. Should be a door right here. Alright, let's listen in. I heard the click. We're good. And then this is... Interior flats. A is Isaac Fairburn. Okay. So I bet you I can go through here now. Nope. Nothing. It's locked. I can use it because it's it says Fairber on it. Yep. Damn it. <laughs> so maybe it just works on it. Once you get in there, the A door, I bet you that's where that goes to. Because it says Fairber right on the fucking key. But, you know what? I like to double check things. We'll double check and make sure this doesn't go to block four for some reason. I don't see it being... It wouldn't make much sense, but... You gotta try, I guess. Okay. Nope. Okay. So, we know it's not that. We know it's on the block twos. We know it's not that. Puzzle's a combination... More, uh, we need the gold coin. Uh, different key. Not going into that room because there's something behind it. Shit. Well, I feel like I've looked everywhere. Uh. I'm sorry, Erica, if this doesn't work out, but we're about to go move that fucking towel. Because I don't know where else to go with this, and I hope there's an item underneath it that's helpful. You might want to put your headphones on before you do this. Try to keep that calm. Because I'm almost positive this is just a trap and you're about to die. Almost fucking positive of it. <sighs> so 
sorry, Erica. Oh, the... fuck. <sighs> I knew it was going to be a mirror. And that's why the mirrors are destroyed. Sorry, Erica. All right, Alexander. He helped us out. He was our one savior in episode one. Can he do it? Can he get us out of this bullshit? Because I'm not sure where else to go. And I'm very concerned of how I'm supposed to get back into that room to get the items because... Like, I don't know how we would block the mirror out. Oh. Fuck. Mr. Faber should be around here somewhere. Alright, he's not. Alright, so we got the exclamation point over there, which is the, the package or the bag, whatever that has all the goodies in it. From Erica and from Renee. Hopefully, 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 I can actually get in there. that noise <laughs> someone broke the spirit of peace and I smell gunpowder I recognize that smell anywhere I heard the that gun cock Fuck it. <gasps> Renee! Oh no, 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 shit. What the fuck? I heard the gun cock, but I figured it may have been someone else had been like, oh shit, hey, I shot the mirror because, like, the girl got taken. Nope. All right, it's down to our main character, Daniel Neuer. Oh, I can't believe Alexander's gone. Oh, that sucks. He got fucking capped. Oh, oh, oh. oh that sucks. That sucks, such big dick. <laughs> All right, Daniel, going right back into the belly of the beast here, my friend. The last time you tried doing this, it didn't go over well. Nobody appears to be around. I wonder whether this father guy is anywhere nearby. Jeez, all it took was that one fucking death. What? What? Sure it's fresh. Alright, we gotta figure out where to go from here. So that key doesn't work there. And then, do I really need to go through all of block two and check every single fucking door with that key? I don't think that's the way to do it.
There's no other doors I can really check. I've checked all the doors. And they're either open or blocked or locked. You know what? Let me check the copper key over there just for shits and giggles. Oh, wait, no, it won't work. It's the latches on the end. What's this? What the hell happened here? Oh, yeah, right, because he shot himself afterwards. Fuck. I'm really, really unsure of what to do. I feel like I'm out of areas to progress into. I don't have any more keys. Examine. It's never been used. Wow. It's got the whole fucking thing on there. Interesting. You got another adjustable wrench. Copper key, Dorman's keys, the spray bottle. Mm -mm. Fuck. I'm really at a fucking loss. I think this says this door is latched from the inside. Uh -uh. Yeah. I go poop and I miss two deaths. <laughs> uh, they were great. Uh, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Um, so I, 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 with Erica, I decided that I was going to lift up the uh, the towel here in the side room. <laughs> and uh so i opened the door went inside moved the towel it's a mirror the demon thing is behind her and possesses her and she's dead uh, apparently and then i go in with alexander our hero from episode one he comes walking in here we can hear someone breathing deeply around the corner but we can't see anything go and pick up the items round this i round the corner with him immediately get fucking shot headshot boom dead camera pans over it's renee and he's like wait no what happened and then his face starts to turn into like the demon and puts a gun puts the gun to his head and pulls the trigger so they're definitely perma dead now yeah it uh got bad real quick I literally just don't know where to go now. Guess I'll just start doing laps until something happens, I guess. <laughs> nice! Because uh, this is our last character. And I have plenty of items. I have two keys. None of them unlock anything. Apparently. I don't know. And this door is locked door too. Mm. I guess I could check that door in the basement again. And see if the darkness has left. I also haven't found anything about a, the combination for the exhibit room. My assumption is the fact that it's a safe in the exhibit room, it's going to be something in Isaac's room. But I need a key to unlock that hallway where his actual apartment door 
uh, exists behind. Alright, let's go down here again. You know what? S's and G's. I'm going to go try both keys right here again. Alright, so here's the doorman's keys. Nope. Now we're going to try the copper key. No. Nope. Okay, we tried. Is this thing still going to be in here? Is the question. Yep. So we're not going in there. That is game over right there if I open that door. So we're not doing it. Alright, so... The problem is, is like, oh, you know what? Let me let me go back up and check those mailboxes. Maybe that key is just says Farber on it. Maybe that's Erica's key. I don't know, but maybe they maybe I can get to their actual spot because that has everybody on it. Hello. Um, I go this way. I'm going to get this. I'm going to survive this mission. This episode, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Where's Fairbur? Fairbur, where are you? Erica Fairbur, B43C. Oh, wait, of course I can't get in there because block four is, is not working for me. It is completely blocked off. So this is three and four. But that's good to know that she lived in four. Okay, let's go check the other side. Hello? Let's go check the other side. Is there another Fairbird in here? No. Fuck. Doesn't make any sense. It says Fairbur. On both sides, no other writings on it. Oh, shit. I was hoping it would just be on the same key ring, but that's fine. All right, so what else can I fucking do? Like, I don't know. Why does it say I can get behind door A on the first floor of block two? That doesn't make any sense. I can't even physically get there. There was like a plant in the way or something. I'm gonna go double check now. Now that I'm all sorts of hot and bothered about it. It's gonna get nice and chilly chill in the rain. Hmm. Alright, here we are. 
I can't look at anything in particular here. It just says like, hey, nothing useful. Here's the names. See the tricycles in the fucking way. I can't get to the door. Nothing I can. I apparently can't move the tricycle either. It's a complete like no. Nope. Oh, it's time, Jesus baby. fuck! The Christ that scared the shit out of me. Butt cheek. Grandpa. What's up? <laughs> Stop it! Dragon Man, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the mob. I'm assuming you came over as oh, part of the butt cheek raid. Drop the hammer oh too. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Ah yes, the butt cheek raid. Welcome to the uh, the mob drop the hammer. I'm assuming you're also the same. Yo, I'm let's go. Bad. I'm a baddest motherfucker in the world. Oh shit, eight months. You dumb man jugs. Oh, thanks, bud. Oh fuck, it's eight months already? Really? God damn. Candy's back, even though she wants her sushi. Welcome in, everybody. I'm the Juggernaut. If you don't know me, I play horror games. I eat hot sauce. Uh, we do Jugtober. Right, right now, it's September, if you need to know anything about it. You haven't left? God damn it. You need to go get your sushi. Sushi is very important for you. G-Rope. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm doing pretty well, but... Um, I've been doing uh, a lot of stretches for the back and stuff, and um, I'm doing some cardio on my lunch break just to kind of keep things going. So hot sauce is awesome. Yes, it is, especially when I have to eat it and I feel terrible about it. Um, but yeah, so we play horror games. I get really scared at stuff, and I'm doing very, very, very bad at this episode of Song of Horror because you only get four characters, and then they die. And it's permadeath. Let's try. I just want to use this copper key on this. Make sure it's not the, uh -uh. Right. the key won't fit. Okay, so none of those are gonna work. Just did the one chip challenge. Oh shit! Gross. How's this game so far, though? It's pretty good. Um, I like the concepts of it. It's a little janky on the controls, cause like you can move the flashlight and you like where you're looking with the mouse, but then otherwise you're like, just kind of wasding around. Doing terrible at games is fun. This is true. Not for challenge. Oh, so you just ate it for the fuck of it. But let me tell you, it felt like I ate an inferno. Gross. You probably farted it out too, like terribly. So I gotta figure out where else to go. So basically, anything with like an eyelid with a slash through is a place I can hide. Um, puzzle piece is like a combination or a puzzle. This happens to be a combination. I haven't found anything that tells me what the combo is yet. Doors with keys on them, they're locked. X's means they're completely inaccessible. Um, the lock on that one means that I can't even unlock it with the key because it's locked on the inside. Uh, oh, and the gears are like, I need to use an item on it. And that's like the little genie machine from, uh, from Big, Tom Hanks movie, late 80s, I believe. Uh, I found two coins, a bronze one and a silver one, and it gave me hints, which are not very helpful from what I can tell. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the other floors of the apartment in block two. And then here's the basement. There's a storage room. I can't go into this room because if I listen in the door, I hear something walking around in there. And it's, it's not good. And then this key I don't have because none of the keys I have work. So it's kind of this weird, like, ongoing walking around hoping I'd find something. Speaking of permadeath, I just told Butt Cheek I was working on Doom Eternal. Ultra Nightmare recently is very rough. Oh, I do, I bet. I watched uh, I watched Noxler just play Nightmare, and that seemed more difficult enough. <laughs> also, what are these circles in here for? I'm just realizing that now. I think I'm going to go back into that area in the store, in the antique shop. Take a look around. I couldn't do it. I did manage to keep the chip down all day. Wow. Yeah, I uh, one night I had quite a quite a, quite a bit of alcohol in my system, and I mentioned that if I ever went partner, I'd do the one chip challenge. And of course, one of my dear friends, Tree Beer, decided he was going to clip it on me. Ultra Nightmare is similar to Nightmare, but one life entire game. Yeah, exactly. And then I feel like if I get behind this door, 
I have the key that I have. You see, of course, it's blood spatter here, but Isaac Farber is who we're looking for. That's in door A in the interior flats. And I have a copper key that says Farber on it. The one ship sucks bad. <laughs> God damn, I can't think. No one ups in game either. Yeah, no, that makes sense. You have one life to live, babe. Oh, it's these fucking pillars. Because they look, because it's like technically part of the wall and the ceiling and all that. Ah. Fucking hell, man. And what's on this side again? Oh, it's just like a closet. Fuck. Well, I'll show you guys the, uh, they call it Coltar, but I'm pretty sure it's Zoltan in the movie. This is a reclone? No, this is a game called Song of Horror. So I don't have anything to put in there. I'm not putting the keys in there. Badge of Perseverance. Yeah, let's use that. <laughs> um, so what I do have, I have a spray bottle. And there's no, uh, there's no liquid in it. The spray bottle appears to have once held dangerous substances. There's nothing else really on this that I can tell. And I've tried to combine it with this hydrogen peroxide, but they won't do it. If I don't put in a token, this machine won't give me a thing. I hit the wrong button. Um, yeah, I never actually tried to combine it the opposite way. I knew it, I knew it was wishful thinking, but I had to try. Oh, God. Well, I guess so. Um, we have a wrench, which I've used already, but I got to take it back. But I can't figure out a way to use it yet. Maybe I can use it on one of the locks, perhaps. I have a copper key that I've mentioned. It says Faber on it. It's kind of upside down. So I've got that. <laughs> it's just an old fucking key. Yeah, it does look like an RE clone. Does it? It, it, it plays like one, kind of. Except there's no, like, um, well, you can't attack enemies, that's for one. <laughs> um, there's no inventory system at all. There's no safe room. There's no, like, I think this, there's no saving at all. Uh, skeleton key. Yes, exactly. Old boy. And then I also have the doorman's keys. Oh, wrong button. Sorry. The Dorman's keys are just two different keys. Uh, a set of iron keys found in the Dorman's office. He was nowhere to be seen. Nothing specifically written. That says farce on it, apparently. It must be the company that made the keys. There's nothing special about these. I imagine they opened several doors, which they have been, but I haven't found one that works so well. Puzzle horror game? Yeah. Uh, there's definitely some level of puzzles to it. So we have that. And then the uh, from the Coltar machine, uh, this one says there... Oh, yeah, I have to do the inspectory, the whole thing. There is something you forgot. Remember it, and you will be blessed. Well, I, I don't know what I could have possibly forgotten but sure thing. And then the second one I got from the silver coin says play and win, play and lose. Having doubts? Go right through. Super helpful. Oh, thank you for the lurk, dragon. Appreciate you. So, butt cheek, what were you guys playing again? I, I dropped in really quick. Um, and it wasn't... I, I For some reason, I just can't remember. I'm dumb. Badge of Perseverance. Three years sober. I'm happy for him. He's worked hard for this. If only things had been different. Sophie. Oof. Sophie dead. She died in episode one because I couldn't save her. Playing the bridge curse. Oh, that's right. Yes. Uh, so was, was that living up to expectations? Because I've been seeing a lot of people grabbing it and looking to play it. Um, I obviously have not yet. 
Fuck, where am I going to go now? I feel like I've read everything. But I have no way of telling what this past this combination could be. Actually, isn't bad. Good scare so far. Oh, that's good. This game is more so about atmosphere. There's, there's been a couple of moments of scares. I didn't check the door. I got lucky. Okay. So there is a combination right here. So as you can see, it's a six-digit combination to get into it. But I have no idea what it could possibly be. I'm looking around to try to determine if there's anything that would give me six digits. Because as of now, I don't have anything in my journal. It's a gun thing and some coins. Yeah. So I'll show you that. So I've got a list of product lots with uh, some writing on the other side of it. Nothing very helpful there. It just says like what we've basically got from people because it's the antique store. Then we have one, two letters from Sebastian P. Husher to Isaac For uh, Faber. Um, they're all one-sided. Pretty sure. Yep. And then we have the night shift report. I don't see anything about six digits on here the there the agent's code is five digits so unfortunately that's not it then we'll do the day shift his is also five digits um nothing on here that's of great concern and then a wrinkled piece of paper it's a blank end of shift report and a handwritten note basically bitching at Walter, who's the night shift guy so I don't really have much to work with right now, and I kind of feel like the only door I can go through is in the basement, and it's the one on the far right here, but I hear the noise behind the door, and if I open it, I'm going to die. And then that's going to be it, because I won't have any more characters left. So, I don't have a coin for that. I don't have any key... For block four or any of the apartments in block two. One and three are blocked out. This is locked from the inside that I have to jump from a window in block four down. Uh, gotta find a key in there to get in here to get to the house I need. Like, fuck, dude. There's so many things I need to do, but I don't have the right parts for the job. Fuck. All right. I know this is going to be kind of douchey, but... I'm kind of, I'm going to look it up a bit. Um, episode two. Let's see. Uh... Your eaves drop on all doors. Yep. Oh, wow. Apparently, if Daniel dies, so if I chose him first and he died, you have to restart because he's the main character and can't die. Okay. We've done all that. Hanger. Yep. Spray bottle. Okay. Silver Coltar token. I found that. Total of four Coltar tokens. I was going to be found to get you the Tooth Fairy achievement. So I've got. The silver. I've got the bronze. Can't get the gold one. That's way too far ahead. Uh... 
Okay, so that's not very helpful. Uh, resident access, did that. Night shift report, yep, 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 yep. Hmm. Right, if the magnet hanger magnet. Yep, that mini game, Dorman's key, day shift report, crank handle, hydrogen peroxide. Yep. Done all this. Adjustable wrench, did that. Go back to the shop. So I copper key, adjustable wrench, grab it again. Yep. I used the crank handle. Yep, there's our insta-kill there. That we've hit with the mirror. That happens. Ah... Uh, Letter two. Wait a minute. What key am I supposed to use there? I've used both keys and it didn't work. The interior flats apparently I can just be good with. doesn't say which key to use, but apparently I can use keys. One of the keys that I have. So I guess I'll just try the, uh, the Dorman's keys, I guess. Unfucking believable. Let's listen in. Yeah, we're clean. Okay. All right. We are in the hallway of the interior flats. There's a cassette here. I had another nightmare last night. I was lying in bed and I felt something. I was lying in bed. Fuck that. All fucking set with that action. No support for the neighbors, at least there are no eviction notices like at my place. So that's just locked if I don't have a key for it, apparently. Oh, I need to go to A anyways. I don't care about the other doors. What's this? Note from Erica Farber. A reminder written by Erica Farber for her father, Isaac. 
Father, I kept a copy of the key to the house and the display case in the showroom inside the Chinese puzzle. I would have left it at the store for you, but I don't trust the doorman. I provided you with a reminder of the combination on the back of this note in a somewhat cryptic form, though, just in case this falls into indiscreet hands. A big hug, Erica. <laughs> okay. Okay. So... Oh, they're Roman numerals. Okay. 8, 9, 14, 2, 11. Okay. Can I take this with me? I can. Okay, cool. Let's listen in first. All right, we're clean. Okay, the door's locked. We expected that. Wait, Q. And now we... Oh, the doorman's keys, they're all done. Copper key's gonna be all done, so let's use it. Don't need that key anymore. Yep. Smashed all the mirrors, of course. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Tree, my dude. Welcome in, friendo. Thank you for the pities. Something about this place gives me the creeps. Oh, does it? So it's keys here. They probably opened the flat. That's odd. Where's Isaac Farber? Someone smashed the mirror. Yep. Hello. Can you not? God damn you, tree. <laughs> that was terrible. God, your tree, you got an unassisted triple play on that, my friend. Alright, this one's good. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's out of the hallway. Oh. So many doors. Fiber family photos in these two must be Isaac and Erica. Something's in there. Check the next one over. <laughs> That's not supposed to be there to scare me, but it did. Hear the little click there? That's like the audio file, like restarting. It's definitely a glitch. Oh, it's the fucking bathroom. Mm -hmm. Bathroom wall, interesting place to hang your pictures. I was beating the shit out of his ball bag. Yeah, he was. Alright. Done with that. Let's move on down to the next one and listen in. Yep, we're good. Why is everything so loud? Doesn't sound loud to me, my friend. This another bathroom? Mirror was shared a piece. I think I'm starting to understand why. Because your headset volume was up. <laughs> yeah, probably. I was not trying to scare you. I was trying to see what that was. Well, take it, take it as a win anyways. An old bathtub, no curtains, covered in a fine layer of dust. Fantastic. This room was awesome to go through as well. Ghost is never in the bathroom, I see. The hell? It's just, uh, let's go in this door. Sick noose collection. Oh, it's a dark room. Yeah, it's shining a light everywhere. Kind of can't we expect to see in a Wild West film. What the fuck? Well, these are not good pictures. 
at all. Someone was on to something. This train is serious liquid ingredients ready for mixing. Oh, there's a shadow in the doorway. Something crawling in the fucking wall. God damn, dude. Oh, in the shower. Down a hallway. Down the stairs by the cellar. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Hmm. Film development material, the whole process seems like magic to me. Okay. Interesting. This noose is gonna be gone now? Nope. Go through here. this circle piece wooden circle piece carved and decorated I have to say those bright colors bother me I wasn't fucking asking you a bit creepy to be honest Husher and Faber have the same taste for art history books religious text mythology what is all of this books booze pills all too familiar the whole this whole room reeks of desperation what is that Someone actually burned the bed? Probably. The man listened to the melody in that box and then broke all his mirrors. What did you see, Isaac Barber? An open Bible and empty bottle of whiskey. Can't say I'm a fan of that combo. Oh, good a place to hide. A bunch of books and all sorts of esoteric topics. I wonder if Farber found anything useful in those. What's this? Another cassette. I hope you are the one to find this, my daughter. Why not me? Why not both? Oh, so the Blair Witch sticks hanging above? What the fuck? Is they've all disappeared. I not really try to type of mean it was great. Back to lurking though. Oh, well, thank you. Appreciate you, dragon. And let's stupidly go look at the fucking Ouija board. A Ouija board, I see the man has tried it all. Okay, good. We're not actually trying to do anything with it. So this is another lore room. Good, though. Do I really want to go down the end of this hallway? Alright, we're done here. I don't need to be in this hallway anymore. This is a big apartment, by the way. Wait, there's a puzzle in the dark room? When did the hell did that happen? There's some things to mix in here. Interesting. Hydrogen peroxide isn't going there, does it? <laughs> I don't fucking know. No, okay. Cool, cool. Alright, so we can go to the other side of the house. Or the flat, if you will. 
Because he's got a whole nother uh, side over there. Yeah, the other door. Let's just listen through first. Sounds quiet to me. UV light, that's interesting. You know, looks old. Diary stacked in no particular order. Picture of a middle-aged woman, she seems happy. Cups are clean except for the dust on them. Letter three from Sebastian P. Husher. Letter from Husher to Isaac Faber, dated 30th, August, 1998. Dear Isaac, I hope you're feeling better, or at least a bit more calm. I now know who made the box, but he died years ago. His name was Argos Lagrant. As soon as I found out more, I will let you know. As soon as I find out more, I'll let you know. I believe the key lies in returning the box. If you have the list from the auction at which you purchased it, you can surely locate the former owner. I think things have improved since I sent it back to you. Yes, I'm positive. I hope everything is going well. Sebastian P. Husher. Yeah, it uh, didn't go well. <laughs> that, that jabron's missing. This paper is almost a month old. Oh my god. They've been missing for a minute. What's this? Oops. Should I have really done that? Oh, the, the bookcases. Okay. Bunch of books, novels mostly. Oh, I could take the light bulb. That's mm -hmm. good to know. Pretty small. It must be made for some portable device. Okay. What is... Why can't I figure out what this is right here? There we go. I thought the paintings at Husher Mansion were disturbing. What's Farber doing with this thing? It's pretty creepy. Alright, where does this door go to? Let's listen in. I think we're good. Ah, a laundry room and kitchen. All in one. One stop fucking shopping. Rice, pasta, noodles, tinned goods. I'm not sure I was expecting other than a burglary sentence. Your standard dishes, surprisingly clean in spite of the dust. Wow, coffee and tea galore. I think I'm starting to understand what Isaac Farber is dealing with. Nope. Instructions on keys. A reminder written by Isaac Farber for his daughter, Erica. Gonna head out my ear, but about to die. Oh no, it was nice to chill here. Dude. Hey, thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with the raid from Butt Cheek. Super appreciate you. Super appreciate the follow. We're trying to get to 500 followers, and you've added to that. We're now 30 away. Uh, but yeah, please, anytime, feel free to drop in. Uh, it's a great, great community here. Uh, basically laughing at my expense. <laughs> so I hope you have a great night. Thanks again. I need to read this note. Dear daughter, I've tried to arrange the keys for you. The ones on the right-hand column are old keys. I only keep them just in case. The colored metal keys are for the security door to the shop and the locks. The square gold keys and the black plastic keys are all for devices and apparatuses in the shop. The round and triangular silver keys are the copies you made for the old display cases. The round green plastic keys for your motorcycle and the red plastic keys for the safe. The small gold key is the little box with your mother's things. The other three are for the storage rooms and warehouses where we keep the lots of antiques. Dad, thanks for nothing, Daddy. Wow. Glad I can be a bit of help. Of course, of course. I feel that. Um, I wanted to look at the back of that, though. Hit the wrong button. From Erica. Okay. All right, nothing on the back. All right, but that seems like it could be important if I find more fucking keys. Hmm. Not a soul in the street, must be the rain. Although I'd glad to go outside right now, to be honest. What's this? Another tape? Pet food, a box of dead cockroaches? Hmm. 
I see it says this food is good for all insect insectivorous pets. Okay. Whoever must be a compulsive smoker and no wonder. What hell noise was that? So I have a UV light bulb, wrench, hydrogen peroxide, spray bottle, circle piece, two messages from Coulter, pet food, and then those dumb items you can't do anything with. Now, I guess I can go to the other this other room if it's open. I guess we can do that. Wait, there was a search thing on there that wasn't a completed circle, and it was like hollow. Usually means you missed something. Oh no, it just went. Okay, press it. I want to press it. Let me press it. <laughs> Sound give me the, the, the chills. I'm definitely on edge. <laughs> All right. Back out to the hallway. And let's try. Can I listen in here? I think we're good. There was a little scratch there. Uh -uh. Damn, it won't open. All right, so that's going to update. That one is locked, right? Yep, okay. That's fine. Just fucking dandy. The one at the end of the hallway is definitely uh, insta-death because there was something back there. I wasn't about to go check with all the fucking goddamn nooses just hanging around. Okay, so now where does that leave us? Oh, I can open up that thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. She gave me the uh, the clues on the back of that note, so we'll go head in that direction. Back into the shop. Okay. We're gonna head into the uh, the gallery. We're gonna listen in because it says to. I can hear it down the other side. It looks like the door is too thick. Oh yeah, right. I forgot. Well, we should be good anyways. That thing left a while ago. Okay. Information says, first wheel is an eight. Ah. It's hexadecimal. That makes more sense. Uh, that's second wheel is going to be a five. Okay. Third wheel is going to be a 14. So that's going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 8, 5, 14, 2. Uh, that's 11. I almost said 9. That's 11. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's B. And then the last one, sixth wheel, I can't write it in Roman numerals. So it has to be a letter. So we'll just try all of them with letters. Mm -mm. 
What? Oh, unless there's a zero. That makes more sense. Shit. There we go. What is it? Cylinder box puzzle? A uh, hollow wooden cylinder. It's divided into several ring-shaped compartments. There's something in here. Damn it, I can't budge these rings. Can I combine it with my circle piece? Good. Oh, nice. All right, so you have to make like a... What the fuck? That should do it. Uh -uh. What? How did that not work? Maybe I should work on it backwards. Oh, they have to be on the same line, I see. Fuck that up big time. Okay. Boom. Fuck, is this everything? That's stupid. Let's do it the same way I had before. Let's line it up there. Ah, I see. Man. Where are these gonna fucking line up? Like that, and then that goes like that. Like, moving on the other ones will fucking screw it up, too. God damn. This pu- 0451. Yes. Correct. Dude, this puzzle's fucking janked. Like, some of the circles move. Others don't. Like, that moves those two. This one just moves by itself. This one moves the two middle ones. This moves, I think, yeah, all of them. Oh, fuck. I think I got it. No, it fucking updates the other one. Cumrag. Fuck, dude.
This is like fucking impossible. I'm horribly confused. Yeah. So like, you have to get this green line to go like connect, but like, there's just so many moving parts. I can't, I can't figure out the algorithm. <laughs> Oh, well, that piece doesn't move, so that's the easy part. Got it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So this this piece has to be there, then. So we know that those are the two pieces that have to be there. Got it. So then this needs to be like that. Got it. So it's these last three pieces where it gets difficult. So you got that. But this thing moves the other guy. Oh. Fuck, that lined up. I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> Shit. Is it the shoes? Yeah, I'm still having fun with this, man. Just this puzzle is tough. Why can't they all move independently? Because then it wouldn't be a puzzle. Maybe I need to work backwards. Like that. That. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is a good puzzle. It's, it's difficult for sure. So I can't move this piece at all. So this needs to come all the way around, which is fucking obnoxious. That goes back up like that. Oh, it's so fucking close. I'm entertained. Well, whack. Cause you know what? If you were playing this, you'd be having the same problem, don't you? Even. I don't think this is supposed to work like that. Because, like... This still needs to go down one more, but that's going to fuck that up. I can go the other way with it. Okay. That's... That's... Good. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fuck. Just observing. It was good luck to go to bed. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you much for coming through and hanging out as always. I hope you have a lovely evening. God, this is fucking dumb. Get that.
Offset the second to last one by two and twist the bottom one twice. Offset the second to last one by two. So this one, or th like, do you mean by this one, or do you mean by this one? Because it's like with uh, inside the the endpoints. Because the last endpoint can move. I'm assuming you mean legitimately. This is the second to last one. Offset it by two. Uh, five move. This one does not. This one does. This one does. This one does. This one does. And this one does. So it's actually five. You almost had it when everything was lined up. I mean, it, it really wasn't everything lined up. It was still off. And this fucks everything up, though. So now this is off. Because, like, it's basically, like... Wait. Oh! <gasps> Yo, I just got it. Whoops. Ux to Cthulhu. Keychain with two keys and a peculiar ornament. <laughs> Damn, that keychain is sinister as hell. Uh, nice. Hey, you know what? Not too shabby, huh? All right. Let's see. Fan just sounds so menacing. I think she... So she was in block four, if I recall. Maybe I should go... The other way. Yeah, I should go the other way. That way I can see the mailboxes again and see exactly which unit she lives in. So I can go right to the correct one. I'm not dilly dallying. Because dilly dallying will get you killed. Okay. Go right across. So she has to be, she's, I know she's in block four. So I remember reading that. So we just got to find, it's, I think the, are these the odds? These are the odds. Okay. So let me go to the other side with the evens. Where was she? I think she's in the last row here. Maybe not. I'm lying. I'm throwing. Farber, Farber, Farber. Where are you, Erica? Oh, this is B1. B2. Oh, I thought it was evens and odds. It's one, two, and then three and four. I'm a ding dong. So we'll go over to four. There she is. Block four, floor three, unit C. Four, three, C. We got it. Let's go. Blah, blah. All right, four, three, C. Not 
Not bad, not bad. Okay. Now I have the correct keys. Just listen in. We're good. Bin bags, empty gas bottles. Why is there so much shit here? So I'm four three C. I don't care about any of these other units. Ooh, shopping cart. What a dumpster. <laughs> You know what, maybe I can hop through this window first and handle this. Port Hello? I didn't say turn around. Thank you. This window is missing a latch. Fuck. I don't think I have a latch. Can I use the, uh, the wrench? Let's fucking go. Now I can hop down in here. Get inside of the, uh, this little hut that looked like it hurt. Whoa. Whoa. The door can be open from here. Walt Walter Sullivan, security, agent number 09534. Is closer just hanging around? Mm -hmm. Square torch. An old school torch with a clip attachment. Yo, let's go. Mm -hmm. Great, it's missing the light bulb. Well, funny you should say that. What? Why didn't that? Oh, maybe I can't combine it in that. Uh, combine? Combine. Yeah! I hope it has batteries. Fuck. Plenty of tools to choose from, but I don't need any. Alright, this room is cleared out. The door is already open. Uh, but it was locked from the other side. That's odd. Alright. We're gonna go back in here to 4-3-C. Man, this episode is, I feel like, is longer than that of episode one. No, come on. Again, I'm not doing that. Alright, this is floor two. Need to get to the third floor. Welcome to the third floor. It's a one way trip, and then they lock the doors. I can see the tool shed and the trash bins. Ooh, how perceptive. Alright, so block four. Floor three, unit C. It's obviously gonna be locked. That's okay, we're going to unlock it using her keys. Good door open, don't need that key anymore. Great, so let's listen in, make sure we're good. Yep, we're good. Hello? Is anyone there? Obviously not. Erica's dead, dude. Look at that fucking mirror. The house seems empty. I hope nobody minds whether I take a peek inside. No, yeah, of course not. Just take her shit. Directions on mixture. Note about how to combine several chemicals. Erica, come see me when you read read this. I couldn't find the luminol. I think it's in your locker, but you must have left the key in a trouser pocket as usual. When you find it, get some hydrogen peroxide. Check. Come home. Mix up as follows. Two milliliters of stabilizer. Regardless of the final amount of the product. One milliliter of uh, dimethyl or dimethyl sulfoxide and two milliliters of hydrogen peroxide for each milligram of luminol. 50 milliliters of distilled water as a base, and another 50 milliliters if the total mixture is more than a half liter. When you've got it all, add the luminol conversions. Uh, I'm assuming it's on the back. 
A is hydrogen peroxide, B is dimethyl sulfoxide, C is stabilizer, D is distilled water. If you had any trouble, remember that bottles A and B are the same size and their taps are identical. Jesus Christ. Cool jackets. A fucking jukebox that's sick B movie horror films I like how unpretentious they are and a little else to be honest so it goes to this kind of modern furniture here's some film over here at least summer nights watching movies with friends classic rock and jazz albums good taste Daniel you're going to rummage through a young lady's dirty clothes I'm sure the judge will believe your explanation <laughs> Eric, if I were most love these machines, I've never really found their appeal, honestly. It's because you're fucking boring. Nice record play. I don't know why, but it makes me want to play music from back in my day. Um, those pizzas been out for a while. God, that's disgusting. Eric Farber is quite the record collection. Rock classic, including the ironic single Stairway to Heaven. Camera conveniently tucked away with books and travel guides. Everything on the couch. I didn't even look. Nope. Another chessboard, though. Lots of chessboards in this game. The plant is dead and the soil is dry as a bone. I really not. I'd really love not having to do this. Okay. Who knows how long this should have been going on? Watch. Good God, there must be all kinds of shit in there. All kinds of spices. I like to sprinkle loads of this stuff at random to make my cooking look exotic. Hmm. There's a lot of knives. I have no clue what half of them are for. And nothing really special. Wait a minute. Why do I have... This is where her key must be. Or at least I think so. Didn't find a thing. <laughs> Let me go check the other pile of clothes then. Her trousers. I'm assuming it's going to be in a completely different room. <laughs> He's really hating it. Nothing here either. Okay. We'll check the other rooms. Not a huge deal. Okay, let's listen in to this door. All right, this one's good. Ah, the bathroom. I'm sure. Well, here we go again. <laughs> Getting to be that about, about that time. Probably there's something here. Small key, a small size key found among Erica Farber's dirty laundry. Hmm. It almost seems like a toy to her locker. I wonder where her locker is. Weird. Let's listen in here. I think we're good. I just went weird and it looked like it got really dark for a second. Another hallway. Several floor rooms. I'd probably get nostalgic myself if I look through them. The Rose Maze is sci-fi movie released a couple years ago. I would have seen it if I had been drunk and passed out somewhere. Jesus. Ads from events exhibits all over the world. This girl's done some serious traveling. Hey, good for her. Let's listen into this door. Sounds good. Oh, all the keys. God, how many keys are there? Well, I certainly need some of these. Oh my god. The ones on the right hand column are old keys. I only keep them just in case. Okay. The colored metal keys are for the security door to the shop and the locks. Okay. 
colored metal keys. How can you tell if they're metal or not? That's so strange. Square gold keys and the black plastic keys are all for devices and apparatuses in the shop. The round triangular silver keys are the copies made for the old display cases. The round green plastic keys for your motorcycle and the red plastic keys for the safe. Small gold keys for the little box with your mother's things. The other three are for the storage rooms and warehouses where we keep the lots of antiques. Oh my god. What the fuck? There's no square gold keys. But if I just take all of them, can I do that? Not with that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> They're smarter than that. God damn. Oh, those kind of look square to me now that I think of it. Mm -mm. How about circular gold? Square gold keys, plastic keys. Round triangular silver, round green, red plastic, small gold. Yeah. This one. This one. It didn't say triangular gold. No, that's the last row. I fucked up. Don't touch the last row. Or last column, rather. So it can't be that. Can't be the smaller gold key. Not, nothing that's colored. Nope. Fuck. Square gold keys and black plastic keys. Round and triangle, round and triangle silver. So it could be a square silver key. Okay. What else? How can you tell which ones are plastic? Wait, so the round green and red plastic. Round green, this one. And then red plastic. That must be plastic. Because that looks like metal. Maybe that's round green? I don't fucking know. Hmm. Well, I think we've got the right thing. The third, third top row, fifth bottom row. What stands out? Maybe this one here. So remember, three and five, top bottom. Hmm. No. There's nothing talking about round gold. It's square gold. Small gold. So the round gold is definitely on there. There's anything about square silver.
No colored metal keys. Green and red are definitely off the board. So are... Round and triangular silver. Okay. Square gold keys and black plastic keys are for are all for devices and apparatuses. So they they give you green, red, and black for plastic. So all those plastic keys, black, they look shitty. There's no greens, no reds, no blacks. Um, let's go with blue. Not with that. Fuck. This looks metal. It's so hard to tell which ones are plastic. Already grabbed that color. I guess we'll try this one because it's uh -uh. purple. No, okay. Why is this definitely more of the square than the other ones? Mm -mm. Okay, if we're gonna try. I know I'm close, but. So it's not that one, can't be this one. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. No, it's green. Nope. Tried it. Nope. Nope. It's bizarre. I can't think of what the third key would be. Well, I'm going to cheat because it's getting late. It's almost one. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we did the shed. Uh, take the following keys. First row, take the third key, gold key from the left. Got that one. Second row, don't take any of these keys. Okay. Third row, take the first key, the dirty key with green top from the left. Okay. Fourth row, take the fifth key. So, all right, so we were close. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, and I forgot that there's apparently something back. Let's head back into the hallway. And enter the next room down the hall. Glass case with a live spider in it on the far side of the next room. Oh, maybe it's in this room. What is that? 
A ghost, monster, demon, my own insanity? She'd sleep this place. In my home, inside the walls, all over the entire building, wherever I go, the photographs, they can't be real. Is it me? Where is Simon? Can I get in anymore? There's something underground. Show them to Erica when she comes back. Do not go downstairs. Oh, Isaac, what happened, my dude? Just rain, nothing more. So apparently... Here we see the the place Erica, the owner of this flat, has visited. There's supposed to be a spider somewhere. Oh, you know what? It's probably back down here in this room I haven't gone into yet. Or maybe this one. Oh, yep. It's a big ass scorpion. Ugh. There's the coin. No, do not grab that coin. Let's try to give it the food. It's pretty much ready for the food. And grab that now, quickly. Nice. Our anthologies, how appropriate. Back in college, just lay in a match like this one and play the guitar while Sophie sang. Sad. All right, cool. That room's all set. Nothing left to do in there. Got another door right here. Listen to it. Okay. Oh, another bathroom. You can't open this cabinet, it has a lock. Oh, hey, Luminol. So this says there's 150 milligrams. Okay, good to know. Okay. Look at all this, and considering how I got in here, I can't help but feel like a thief. My bro. Alright. That should be good. We're back into this hallway. We've done all these rooms, I think. Study, bedroom. Two wash closets, a hallway, living room, the kitchen area. Yeah, we've cleared it all out. There's nothing left in here. Um, just make sure I'm not missing anything crazy. Small key unlocks the bathroom cabinet. So the cabinet will find the bottle of luminol. Got it. Wow, there's still a lot left to do here. Um, and I'm getting pretty tired, to be honest. I think this is a good place to save an exit, because um, we're safe at the moment. So I'm going to take that. Um, and I think that's where we're going to leave off for tonight. But we're doing pretty good. I mean, all things considered, we lost some people really stupidly, but it is what it is. So... You know, what can you do? But, uh...
yeah, I think we're gonna have another another uh, day of Song of Heart. There's a lot of stuff to go through, um, which is great. I like having a game that has lots of content and uh, definitely some difficulty, some some thought. And the way I couldn't think of that last key, why that wouldn't have worked, because it was green, and I guess I just I ruled out green because either metal or plastic, and they called out a plastic green key. So I don't know. It is what it is. At any rate, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Uh, but we're gonna send everybody over. Somewhere. Question is where? The fuck out of here, that bullshit. Alright, let's go here. And let's see. We've got Mentals playing Blair Witch. Nice. Nox was playing Astroneer. Lady Gweebs playing Uncharted 4. Arcade's playing Watch Parties. Oh, they're having a hard movie night? Oh, it's almost over. They're playing they're watching Good Night Mommy. That's a good movie. Current progress 92%. Yeah, it's almost over. Dan's playing Apex Legends. Stream NFS playing Shatterline. Kiwi's playing in Sound Minds. Loved that game. Fishboat's on. Games and demos. Xenophos playing Rafts. Queen Kitty's playing Mortuary Assistant. And then a bunch of other bigger streamers that wouldn't give a shit if we rated them. Out of curiosity, I wonder who's playing Song of Power right now. Uh, it's us. <laughs> well, okay. That answers that question. Um, you know what? Hmm. I don't think I've ever sent a raid over Lady Gleams before. Um, I've been over there as part, Lady Gleams that is, as a part of a raid I've been sent there before, and that's how I know her, through Noxler. Um, Uncharted 4, I don't think it's a horror game. I feel like it's like the place, it's like the, I haven't really played the Uncharted games, don't judge me. I feel like it's, it's Tomb Raider on crack or something. But anyways, let's send you all over there. She's got, she's got a crowd of six people. We're 13 strong. Let's go ahead on over. Uh, we'll kick off the raid countdown. Um, I hope you all can uh, hang out with Lady Gleams for a bit. Drop a follow if you could. Um, and also, uh, here's the raid messages. If you're a subscriber, you can use those uh, the lines with the emote. Otherwise, you can use the regular one, which I need to update, make that a bit more good looking. Unfortunately, this you can't use follower emotes outside of the channel that you're a follower for. It doesn't work that way. Um, but it's fine. Anywho, uh, episode, well, I should say night three, episode two of Song of Horror went as well as expected. Uh, say la vie, that's what it is. But uh, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to try to play this game again. Um, I would like to finish it up before we get to Jugtober. Uh, and I think we can do that. I don't know how many episodes there are, but there's apparently a few. But, uh, that's all I have for tonight. Thank you all so much again for hanging out. We had a ton of subs, resubs, and, um, a big butt cheek raid, which is fucking great. So, thank you all again, and, uh, give Lady Gweeb some love. Catch you later.